Where's Grace? Oh my goodness. What's happened? <laughs> of course, I went live at Grace Rational. in the second Rational that my Grace disconnected. Grace. <laughs> what a disaster. No. 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 She'll be back. She'll be back. <laughs> uh, I'm sure she's going to like pop in and surprise all of us. The cameras will get wacky. We're just sitting here talking. Melissa and I had a harrowing afternoon. We like played a couple <laughs> elves in the elvish PvP. Uh, it, it, I didn't say PvP. I said PvP. <laughs> and we got smoked. We got ourselves wrecked. Oh, man. Uh, but we did have a pretty good time losing in like yeah. real style. Um, we tried to bring down the capitalist regime that is Christmas. We failed. So sorry. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the commercialization of Christmas is too strong. We could yeah. not. We did corrupt the whole agenda of the show, though. I think the goal was we were playing like because we wanted to be the ultimate like Santa's little helper, and somehow this viral idea that Christmas equals oppression just like ran rampant throughout our team. Yeah, that sounds. Yeah, that sounds I don't know where that idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it felt mostly accurate. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. But anyway, now we're in space. Hey, hey. it's Grace. <gasps> hey. Hi, Yay. Grace. Everyone is prepared to occupy their space now. This yes. is yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, capitalism Christmas. I have things to say, but I will just let you connect the dots in your own mind. Mm -hmm. Suffice it to say, there are too many people in the world that I am obligated to buy a present for and that are obligated to buy a present for me. Honestly... I do like shopping. I do. I like buying people gifts. Me what too. I don't like, what I don't like is being harangued for gift ideas from mm. every single one of my family members. And then I have like a, a pot of like six ideas, maybe that I will build up in the course of November. But like, once you go through those, I got nothing yep. else. I got I no always... matter how much you guilt me. I hit that awkward space where it's like the only things I really want are way too expensive to ask you reasonably to buy me for Christmas. So like, am I really going to list these things? <laughs> <laughs> I can't because I can't like in good conscience actually ask anyone to get me. these. Yeah, things. I was looking at this uh, house. Uh, I don't know if you could. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Grace. Sneak down under the tree. I just put or cash equivalent in parentheses after a bunch of things. You know what? You know. I love a good gift card. I love it. I feel yeah. guilty giving yeah. them, but I get it. I'm like, great. I'm not exactly what I want. Great. Absolutely. There's few things I appreciate as much as like a good gift card. Yeah. I mean, that's just like, um, that's a good time to be had. You get to have a thing and you get to like go shop for a thing. You feel like you got money you don't have. It's like found money. It's yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. Except you have to avoid the Visa MasterCard gift cards because they're tricksy <gasps> and they're like really hard to spend all of, right? Like you have to, anyway, they're like super annoying. Yeah, so that's true. Hmm. Buy specific gift cards. Now I yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that PSA from our uh, the North, Melissa. I will like definitely <laughs> avoid those things. Um, I did make an oath today, you guys. It was very serious. I told Melissa and Aiden that if we died, I would never eat another raisin. Oh. Uh, so my fate it, is sealed. We lost badly. Like, it's in writing and everything. Yeah, a raisin's out. Uh, <laughs> oh wow! Are we gonna okay. do if you want? If you do, yeah. If you I was eat just not going to eat any more You're raisons. also not going to eat so, any more raisins. <laughs> <laughs> just also yeah. never eat raisins because yeah. raisins are gross. Yeah. Yeah. So really, our only chance was a tie. Mm. Yeah, that, that would have screwed me right up. Uh, I'm glad that there was not any diplomacy in the 11th hour there. That would have been a real, real turnaround. <laughs> I mean, um, there there was, just not between us because we were dead mm. already. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we, like, diplomatically welcomed our killer to the afterlife. So that was fun. Well, I know it's really fun to talk about a stream that occurred many hours ago that people are definitely going to go back and watch. But I'm super excited about this stream that's about to happen Me now. Too. I have no clue. I've kind of forgotten how to D&D &D in the intervening two weeks. And also, like, am still super hyped for this mm -hmm. moment. So I'm in this, like, dual space of, like, um, uh, uh, overstimulated mental goo. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's where I am. So there you go. You didn't ask, but that's what yeah. I'm offering. I'm happy to hear it. I'm very excited for this tonight. We took last week off. Uh, we're at like a real like crisis point. A plan has been enacted. A great plan. Thank you. So the players tell me. It's actually uh, two plans. There were, I think maybe yeah, just me. <laughs> multiple plans. I like the plan. Yeah. There's Good plan. There's Great. layered okay. plans. We'll go over the I'm plan. I'm pretty convinced the plan is going to fail, no, but it's going to be fun. Get out of the universe. 
Why would you do this? Is, this could be a monumentous uh, occasion, a game of D and D where the Here's plan the problem, goes exactly Taylor. according to plan. <laughs> Even if we put it out into the universe, we're in a totally different multiverse, That's what I'm saying. right? Don't that our characters are in. It's any... all. It's already out in the universe. We're in space. <laughs> yeah, the secret. The secret does not transmute into the. TTRPG world. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to put it out there. So oh, no, a portal into the other. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a portal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Taylor, did you um, detect that? You know, <laughs> uh, uh, I did, like, you know, plan, like, D is, like, drop the apparatus of uh, Hux just on the building with Lux inside mm -hmm. of it. That got discussed yeah. last night. Yeah, two people could be in a old game, and yeah, actually, and, uh, you could. if you yeah. want to be in it, it can take a lot of damage. You could probably drop it out of space, like uh, you know, an orbital strike. You fire, the you know, <laughs> some rocks. Why, why are people in it? it? Are people not gonna get crushed? That seems like all I, damage I have visions of like the the Mars orbital lander where it's like descended by a sky crane, mm -hmm. and then like deta detaches and thrusters like disrupt. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what what your plan yeah. was, Dora, today, right? On the uh, apparatus face. <laughs> no, never not got either. fixed. No, definitely never got fixed. It definitely <laughs> did get fixed. Doc could fix everything and has had a lot of downtime to do nothing but fix stuff. And so, I but I just am imagining the inside Troy of the apparatus as it plummets towards like this asteroid with like Lux and the Badman inside of it or something, and he's yanking levers and the Stop crab claws or everything. <laughs> She's like, Lux, is it like every lever. So cut the camera back to the rest of us like watching it from a distance and you just hear the like yeah. every lever that lux is pushing is a, a lever that the bad man just pushed he's just yes. following him yeah, exactly. back. <laughs> the back door is like flapping in the wind it's like some really distorted skill challenge of patty cake or something is yeah. that... you know what after discussing this plan d i feel much better about our plan there's so many worse plans perspective <laughs> All that you need is just um, perspective. So yeah, it's been a couple of weeks, but we are back, and there are plans in play. Uh, last episode, we had revelations, we had like active decision making, and so we find ourselves at this very fascinating crossroads as we're here for like the official episode twenty-five, I believe, of Dragonfly. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plan A. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, this is like the time of the night where I guess I ask you guys: Do you have any questions? Is there any like housekeeping stuff we need to go over? You divvied up some items. Does everybody have what they think they need? Any like last minute stuff? Um, I didn't get to say it last time, but I made a note for myself that um before we like um start trying to communicate with this um scary looking naval ship, um. The November yep. storm. Um, Lux does kind of look like her, like, quote unquote, old self, half elven with, like, the long red hair. I thought you um, meant old when you got H. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I did too. I was like, oh, old ghost Lux? It's a good disguise yeah. look. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, starter Lux. Got it. Starter Lux. Um, but yeah. Just for just for that little little bit there. Okay. Um, and we got everything like accounted for where it needs to be accounted for. Uh, uh what about it? Do we have like a go bag of potions? Should we just like take a oh, moment? We should absolutely do that. And... Let's pull back up the loot Trust. list because we might need it. A potion of so cow. our loot list: a potion of heroism, a potion of flying. Uh. And the Emerald Eye, do I remember what this Emerald Eye is? Yeah, it's nothing really that fancy. But if one of you uh, inadvertently loses an eye, you can like <laughs> shove the Emerald Eye into your head. Hey, the dreaded DM is here. Welcome. Uh, thanks for stopping in. I've watched a bunch of your stuff. It's very good. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, uh, it's a replacement. Hi, I hope we don't it's need that. Incredible. It's a synthetic eye. Can, uh, can you that's imagine? Is, that's amazing. I love that. I love it. Incredible. Uh, uh, so we should definitely take that. The eye? Um, <laughs> Just in case? Who, who, well, well, maybe not the, the eye. The two potions. Um, potions. But who who would like the two potions? Uh, 
You said flying heroism. and heroism? And heroism. So I have heroism always prepped, so I don't need that one. Um, okay. Can I hold on to the flying one? I'll give it to anybody if you want it, but I, yeah. I go need for to it. fly over and cure Take someone. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Flying cleric? Yeah. Can't hurt. Can't hurt. It could hurt. Uh, I could let me look up what a potion <laughs> heroism does to see if that... Uh, it's temp you HP and now. you end frightened condition, I believe. Uh, okay, you get 10 temporary hit points that last for an hour, and you are under the effect of the bless spell. So it's not a, the actual... Oh, no, it's not, a little it's not bit the same different. as the spell. Really yeah, interesting. it's always worth looking them up. Interesting. Um, just other stuff I guess I'm looking at. You guys split up the handful of ion mm -hmm. stones. Lux took the ghost gauntlet. Uh, the wand of magic missiles. The magic? Uh, somebody should take that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um... I have a lot of stuff to do on my turns, so it shouldn't be me. Gosh, I feel like yeah. you have a lot of stuff. <laughs> I know. Um... You know what? Is let's it just a action? Or you know what? Action? It feels like maybe it's like a Lux, like you shoot your bow, but this is like it's auto damage. You know, if you feel like you need to auto damage, yes. shoot the magic missile one. Yeah, for concentration stuff for sure. Uh, sure. Why not? I'm gonna take the ring, we the whale think. ring. Do it. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I have another ring. The I have another ring. ring. I can't remember what I have. Uh, yeah, that's just yours. Incredible. I'm excited. I have this, one this has seven charges second well. Ion Stone. I've not had it yet. This is going to be good times. Okay. You guys are armed to the teeth. You got Ion Stones. You got wands of uh, and implements yeah, of destruction. Go you got crystal guy. orbs. You got all kinds of stuff. There's a ring of this the freaking uh, whale shark. Uh, Lux has a giant axe. Um, uh, well, so. I don't actually. Okay. You left your giant axe yeah. at home this weekend. That's fine. Yeah. Badman will bring it in the Hell apparatus. Yeah, dude. And so, I think uh, if there is no like further catching up. Um, hey, actually, can I can I hey, can actually, I ask a technical question? This of this course you can. This ghost gauntlet. I don't I don't have mm -hmm. the actual like description in front of me. Um, does it uh, it's is it just melee weapons? Like, will it turn in? It's... Yeah, just melee okay. weapons. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as a bonus action, you can create any simple or martial melee weapon, which, like, you know, manifests as, like, this force version of itself in your okay. hand. Deals force damage. Yeah. And that, that includes you great axes, action right? to change it. Oh, yes, correct, amazing. Mondo. That's a martial Indeed. weapon. No exotics, no whips. Fair. No whips. Yep. Noted. Rich, or nets. I... Hate for nets. Uh, yeah. Stupid just nets. Kidding. Just kidding. Uh, so... Okay. Sorry, Rich. Yeah. Uh, I have a spell refueling ring in my inventory. Great. I have no memory of when this is Me from. Me either. <laughs> uh, this stuff all comes up it. at a great moment. Let's take a look. What do you got <laughs> here? Spell refueling ring? I love it. Yeah. It sounds like something Doc would have. Is it a pearl of power? I don't think so. Uh, it says it can, uh, as an action, recover one expended spell slot up to third level. It's a pearl of power. That sounds like yeah, a pearl of okay. power. But it also says uh, the ring stores spells cast into it, holding them until the attuned wearer uses them, can store up to five levels worth of spells at a time. That's a ring of spell slurring. How did you get 1 both these 6 things? minus 1 level. It's <laughs> the same item. It's all one description. Now, I have in my records that I have a pearl of power. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I have this plus 8 trident. That's right, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, you should definitely have that, Grace. <laughs> Great. Just checking before the big Rich, it's very, it's very possible that you said a thing and I dragged it over and, like, didn't... I don't know. I, I don't know where this came from. You should have a Pearl of Power. I've thrown around a couple of those. Okay, definitely that makes not sense. We'll do that. We'll ignore the spell. The spell because story. I sat here this yeah. afternoon agonizing about whether or not Occam's wearing a ring of spell story. <laughs> oh, no, we got that already from... <laughs> We took it. He can't have it. He can't have it. Yeah. I mean, I'm just really proud that we generally did a very good job of tracking our we magic did. items. It's pretty good. Yeah, we, have a pretty we were pretty good. bad at the beginning. We got a pretty we got good loot list. The beginning so. was rough, but 
Yeah. I do throw um, way too much stuff at you guys if it's not evident. Uh, for, oh, like, this whole I mean, we might die tonight. So That's then it's true. Funny. Yeah. I, I have another critical question. Are these kelp cookies still any good or are they, you know, expired? At this uh, point? I mean, I think that they have a great shelf life, but you guys have been eating yeah. them voraciously, especially since the great um, cheese shortage of 2020. <laughs> after you guys fed all the cheese to the Don't space dog. When you say you, do you mean Ray? <laughs> yeah, I mean Ray. <laughs> yeah. You're eating everybody cheese. <laughs> uh-huh. um, quite fortunately, Kate and uh, the professor bonded last time when they found the secret stash of Brie. Uh, that was a right. moment. It was. Anything else? Does anybody have a staff of power that we just need to check No. I've got my two in stones. I got my ring of jumping. I got my boots of water walking. So if you put us oh on an God. ocean, we are just I'm freaking golden. Loaded. So we are like up. At, what? What else do I have? My goodness. Good thing we're not head. walking we're into a battle with a guy who likes like, to collect. Yeah, money. for real, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Like we're still uh, gonna die. Oh. Yeah. I have the right spells prepared. I guess that's my last question. Because yeah, we did have like an overnight. We had and six I think you guys have spent, yeah, yeah. just to like uh, reset, shall I set the stage? Please. I think Where... for any of our dozens of new viewers, right, that we have. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, is there anything, Troy, that like Ooh. Doc and Ridge would have discussed in terms of spell prep ahead of time i don't yes. think so i don't think i, I haven't i think the only question doc would have had or oh, wow uh reginald would have had the professor is whether um we anticipate needing protection from good and evil in any way based on your experience with occam and the things that we saw in that room mm-hmm. looking for any sort i don't know dm what do we remember about what was in that room <laughs> What do you remember about what was in that room? There was a big golden thing that you dubbed a unicorn. There was a feathered serpent. There was a fire elemental in a cage of lava. There was a black dragon wormling. You killed the Umber Hulk. Um, some cranium, uh, like rats. You saw some rot grubs. Doc remembered those real well. Uh, yeah, an ice devil. Uh, I mean, there were a couple. There was some real like extra planar entities in some of those containers for sure. Love it. Here's my uh, challenge here. I don't know if I should say this in character or not, but protection from good and evil is a concentration spell. Mm -hmm. And I've got a lot more of those that are a lot more powerful to keep my mind on. And so I'm inclined to say I shouldn't even prepare it unless we really think. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't have access to it. I always have it. I don't have it prepared. Like, in case I could have access to it if I wanted. (laughs) Yeah, I, I have it. So. I don't have it prepared. And I don't think I'm going to. But Follow your okay. heart, Professor. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. I think the only thing I'll say is that I have uh, lesser restoration prepared. Yeah. Great. Um, if that frees up. That's good in case uh, there's any good. premature I aging. <laughs> do that. I have that prepared. Um, yeah, I also yeah. have lesser restoration as well. I think well, Lex. <laughs> the last yeah. thing that Reginald would discuss strategically would be his presumption that people would prefer to be hasted if that's available uh, <laughs> and that all of you are comfortable with that when the doc seems particularly the changelings are the, the changelings are most the changelings yeah. are most comfortable with that Raya just like looms over <laughs> next to you like looking down you know? <laughs> I mean take, take it up with the changelings that's all I could say so um, okay I think where last we left our heroes, the lot of you have spent many ten days since you stopped at the ruined dwarven fortress hurtling through space called the Aether Station, ruled by a man named Occam, a collector of sorts who had gathered in his dwelling there many strange beings, creatures, and items, the likes of which you have never seen before. And shortly after arriving there, being directed to Occam's palace of sorts as the kind of leader of the small community of people living amidst this ruined fortress... You stepped into his grand hall, taking in the sights of his collection, where you met an individual named Yana, 
now a member of your crew here on the Dragonfly. Some type of goblin, perhaps, you posit, though quite different. Uh, you immediately recognize that this man, Occam, was keeping prisoners for potentially years and years on end in aquariums in his display hall. And so... If there is anything that the crew of the Dragonfly does not stand for, it is oppression. And seeing it there in front of you, a fight broke out. Uh, Occam using magic to hurl entire display cases at you. An Umber Hulk broke loose. You managed to uh, murder one of the guards, taking from him a medallion, which allowed you to open these containers, where you freed the paladin known as Yana, and a small poison-skinned frog person, a grung called Sharp Jumper, and with the pair of them in tow, a plant that fruits rubies once a year, clutched in Lux's arms, you ran for the dragonfly itself, alighting from this ruined fortress nearly as quickly as you landed, attempting to lose your pursuers as Occam would not be uh, pleased to let such precious uh, items go from him as his sweet Yana. He chased you into an asteroid field, the Decidium Spiral, a field of asteroids formed by a planet ripping itself apart through its revolutions. You discovered a community of people there led by a changeling woman, a series of portals leading to other planes, the astral realm, the shadow plane. Uh, adventures and exploits occurred over the next 10 days until finally your pursuers caught up with you while staying at the community that you discovered in this place a small village called bridge uh the guards alerted you that a second spelljammer ship had entered the asteroid field the rover and so the lot of you attempting to lure it away took back to the dragonfly you alighted back into the stars. Uh, a deck-to-deck -deck combat took place where you managed to overtake the crew and the captain of the rover, capturing for yourself a second ship. The beginning of a fleet, perhaps? We shall see. As over the days that transpired afterwards, you interrogated the captain, the ship's warlock, Maurice. Cade, the soldier who had turned coat on Occam, joining with you to fight against his former crew, asking only that you allow him to take this new ship, the rover, and fly off when everything is said and done. And so the lot of you, amidst much discussion with one another, decided that you could not run any longer. This man Occam would pursue you across the stars as it is proven, and you needed to turn and put an end to all of this once and for all. He appeared on the deck of the rover not long thereafter, battling you in that place where you defeated this version of him, watching it melt into a puddle of slushy water on the deck below gathering the magic items that he wore on this strange copy of himself you now stand armed to the teeth lux the pilot having posited a new plan wherein you would take one of your two spell jammer ships leaving it parked in a shipping lane through space where you would play dead, pretending that the ship was damaged and injured, hoping that a nearby trade vessel would pick you up as refugees, transporting you back to the Aether Station in a third unknown ship, perhaps giving you the opportunity to ambush this individual who has been hunting you for so long. And so after a period of seven days, trapped in the belly of the dragonfly, the four of you, Lux and Doc, the Changelings, Professor Reginald Frybottom, the Gif Q War Mage, and, of course, Rhea Dubrook, uh, acolyte and devotee of the Tortle God Clancy and Nature Cleric. You've spent the last six days on the Dragonfly waiting to be found on the shipping lane. With you is the poisonous frog person called Sharp Jumper, the goblinoid paladin named Yana, whom you saved from this place, and Cade, the man called Cade, who had come with the crew of the rover to hunt you down, but agreed to work with you to defeat Occam. So the seven of you wait in the cramped quarters for I days. I believe we're on the rover. Days upon days. Not 
Well, I had to screw something up in that whole story. <laughs> So it was so good. It was almost that good. So yeah. it's still good. It's still wonderful. I think the bad man, yeah, is on the mm-hmm. dragonfly mm-hmm. with Ben. Yep. Ben. With Ben and Asturias and Jake, Jake, the pilot, as well as the aforementioned apparatus yeah. of Hux. Uh, that won't matter at all. And so, <laughs> after days waiting on the shipping lane, Lux, you catch sight of it out on the deck as you stand there floating up this massive seemingly armed to the teeth like military style vessel built in the kind of classical style of ships that we might recognize here on the planet earth it has huge kind of canvas wings that have been tucked in the masts reeled back as they crept to a stop in front of you uh people calling from the deck is there anyone aboard? You there? You see the name on the front of the ship. The November Storm. Uh, humans, half-elves, humanoid figures moving about in the flickering lights amidst this backdrop of the velvety darkness that is space. What do you guys want to do? We were like, uh, we were shooting off like fire bolts, weren't we? Yes. Fire. Yes, yes, yes. Fire, yeah. fire bolt. I... My, my motivation is one to be rescued. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, please rescue us. We are stranded in the space of, of that which we are. Ah, oh, shit. I think you hear <laughs> <laughs> like, echo through the void. Like, um, throw them ropes. Get the ladders. Pivot around. Stop the ship. Call the captain. Yes. yes. Ropes. Yeah. 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 Ropes come like cascading off of the high ship, trailing down, whoosh, whoosh, flapping on the deck of the rover as the lot of you are all around. I think Cade, like, kind of like grumbling to the lot of you, is like, um, "This is it, then, I guess." Huh? All right. You and yeah. Sharp Jumper stay here. Wait, I thought I'm going with you to rally oh, the people. Prisoners oh, down drive. there. Now yeah, I'm you... staying yes. here. No, you gotta. Yeah. You gotta drive the ship. Yeah. This is all right, I guess. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We shall uh, communicate with you if we have such means, if you all are needed. Yeah. All right. How good luck. How far do we think we are from um, the place? The uh, day or two. Aether station. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. You guys start climbing up the kind of rope ladders and the ropes that have been cast down. I think it's like the four of you ascend the distance to like 60 feet to like the second ship. It's uh, quite like an experience climbing up these ropes through space, the stars surrounding you. As you get to the top, arms like reaching over, strong hands grasping at your forearms to pull you up onto the deck. A raid around you, you see humans, half-elves, elves of various ages, a handful of dwarves even amongst the crew, a small group kind of gathering to eye the four of you as you come over. And I think, um, like a human woman, she's got kind of like black hair, like shaved on one side, a bit of like a buzz, uh, these like tattoos down her neck, these strange like sigils in blue and green. She's just like, um, what the hell happened to you, Lut? Oh, <laughs> We're just not very we, we, good at our... flying ships, you know. Yes, it, it turns out to be much more difficult than I ever would have expected. What are you all, some I kind of green Reginald, crew? I think yeah. Reginald, like, is as dressed down as you've maybe ever <laughs> seen. Uh, he has removed his bow tie and, and loosened one button. Oh my uh, gosh. In order to appear exasperated as if he's been there for many days. <laughs> I think Lux is like... Green crew, no, no, no. We have a crack that's really um, held us up a little bit. Didn't want to go any farther. Uh, are you guys headed to the Aether Station? That's right. Just a few days here. Come on, we should uh, show you to the captain. You've got some people down there? What's their plan? They're going to say we have some uh, some cargo that needs looking after. Yes, we have sent our most capable 
crew on w w in order yeah. to leave the ship and return with the necessary supplies of repair. Mm. Yeah, all right. I, you better come see the captain. I'm just a deckhand. Come on. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, all of you scrubs, get back to work. Enough. Oh. We've all seen some ground can I, refugees before. Uh, I, can I have taken an extra look at those sigils that kind of went down her neck? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Make a. Uh, I think you could like see them pretty easily. Why don't you make like a uh, religion check? Oh, 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 religion. Okay. <gasps> First roll oh, of the night. No. Yeah. Oh, dear. Critical one. Sign no, of no, 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 no. Getting the bad rolls out of the way. Oh, Getting them out of the way. Shake it off. Shake it off. Let's, Let's do some Taylor Swift. Let's right through them. Come on, roll 20. Wake up, baby. Um, I think that as you're looking them over, you have a notion that like it's some kind of religious affiliation the what how the, like you're not sure of the details yeah um also like in direct comparison to like the professor lux like is in her like you know like ships garb like she got her like flowy like sleeves oh. and her vest and everything like very like in her element like trying to talk to these people um, full puffy shirt, huh? Uh, why don't I have you make a deception <laughs> check, Lux? It's like you've been talking to this lady. And she's like, come on, let's go see the captain. Deception, eh? I think you oh. can have advantage with the professor. Yeah, so. background sailor, right. come on. Oh, yeah, you are background sailor. I am. Sailor. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But it's Thank okay. Wow. So. She's like, uh, Roll 20 yeah. wants us to die. I know. That is no. She's <laughs> like, come on, let's go see the captain. Uh, and I think like leading you across the deck, she's like, get working. Come on. The lot of you. I know you've all got things to do. And Ray would find one of them and um, just one of them and, <laughs> and pull out some pamphlets. And just pass these around. It'll, you know, I know the day it's such hard work, but, it'll, you know. Good reason. You know. This half elf so kind of takes it. Yeah, like, pass them around. Oh, sure. Are these uh, advertisements or something? Is oh, it... well. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Clancy, right? Yeah. You folks are religious? I think Doc is. I'm agnostic. Sorry. Oh. Okay, well, maybe that's what change your mind. Just pass him out. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, like, as the four of you walking, following this human, when we see him, like, looking through the pamphlets, like, Fucking Clancyites, and he like hands the stack. Oh, that's how you feel, like, toss him over. Oh, yeah. Work so hard on those. Oh, man. So, with that, the four of you, um, you like follow this human woman. She, she like leads you towards like the back of the ship, up like a big like set of stairs to like the, the raised kind of deck on the back of it. Uh, you see like the helmsman at the wheel, and uh, he kind of like looks over to her, like, Is that it? Can we get moving now? And she's like, look, I'm not the captain. Why are you asking me these things? But sure, sure, let's go. Come on, wasting time. Uh, and so she heads like right over to the cabin, like kind of knocks twice on this door. And you hear like from the inside, Rah! and she's like, um, opens the door, like after you. Lux strides in confidently. Okay, Lux, you stride in confidently, poofy shirt blowing in the winds of space. And I think that you see behind, like, this big table. There's a big table laid out. There's all kinds of, like, maps, charts laid out on it. Uh, like, a couple of pieces of, like, navigational equipment, right? Like, a sextant. You see, like, something. It almost looks like one of those, like, momentum kind of balls. It's, like, like going back. You're wondering what that's all about. Um, and, like, behind it, a massive figure. Uh, he stands not quite as tall as Ray. A little bit taller than the professor. A uh, broad shoulder hulking in this frame and I think they like turn he's wearing this kind of resplendent red coat buttoned up with these like gold buttons the like gold kind of like yeah that face <laughs> <laughs> you got like tassels gold like cufflinks happening you hear like a saber rattling as at his hip as he turns looking at 
you and it is in fact a massive gray skinned gif uh you would like recognize them anywhere this massive space hippopotamus kind of taking in a lot of you uh, it's not wearing any glasses there's a terrible scar across like the one side of his face a big huge kind of flat hippopotamus uh canine tooth like jutting out from his bottom lip and he's just like um uh, where met? You are the refugees from that that rover crashed out there in the lane. Indeed, yeah, not necessarily uh, refugees. We just need some passage. We're happy to help on the way. Um, just need to get to the Aether Station. Well, you're in luck then. We're sailing right that way. Well, great. Indeed. Yeah, awesome. Who are you people? Uh, your affiliation? Uh, we're uh, with the Tamfei Guild. Uh, I'm Lux. This is my friend Doc, Rhea, and the Professor. T oh. I think there's a moment where the GIF looks to you, Professor. It's like I GIF looking at the GIF queue, and he's just like, um, well, it's been some time since I've well met. Good day. Do we know each other? I do not think that we do, unless I am mistaken. That was I am the correct answer. I was testing you there. I'm quite proficient at tests. Yes, I can see that. You've passed that one. Excellent. I'm Professor Reginald Frybottom. To whom do I have the acquaintance? I am Captain Emmett Aurelis. The pleasure is... Pleasurable. Well, I should certainly hope so. Uh, Lux would certainly be the most knowledgeable of us in the matters of navigation and that. Thank Tam you for Fae. having us aboard. Of course, it's the least we can do. We're all out here together, and it's our tree. Tam Fagel, though, you say. I'm not familiar, I don't believe. We're from quite far like, off. Turns. You probably haven't heard of like, it. He's like, pulls a book, and is kind of like flipping through pages of the book. Far off, right. Uh, where are you based out of? How many ships? Um, three. Not too many. We're starting off. Three? Yeah. I don't seem to have any records. You wouldn't. Such an operation in here at we're, all. We're, we're travelers of sorts. Trying to find all sorts of exotic things all over the place. Independent operation. Then. <laughs> Good luck. So your uh, rem remainder of your crew is to wait here. Yes. Yeah. You'll have to secure your own passage back. I can't guarantee. That shouldn't be a problem. Sure. Yeah, no problem. All right. We should be two days out from the Aether Station. I'm uh, short some rooms, but I should be able to find somewhere to house the couple of you while we journey. Is there anything else I should know? Uh, we are quite capable. If you need any help, we're happy to work for... Or if not, we could just hang out if you have cheese or anything. Or we could cheese. work. No, yeah, cheese. no, it's fine. We could work. Yes, good. That's going to be useful as I'm going to put you to work. Um, Great. All right. Doc uh, fixes things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And builds them and takes them apart mm -hmm. and then builds them again. But you couldn't fix the ship then. Nothing personal, well, of course. Well, the, the, the crack is... We need a specific need part right that part. we're hoping yeah. we can find at the Aether Station. Oh, yes. That Arkham, he's got beat on everything, at least. If he doesn't have it, he can find it. Fair enough. That's what we're hoping for. Fair His enough. Reputation precedes him. Well, he says, uh, talk to uh, talk to my first mate out there on the deck. I believe that uh, she brought you up. She might be able to guide you as to what assistance. She'll show you a room. Uh, no trouble. I see that you're all well armed. That's well enough. But we're not going to have any problems with your time no here, problems. I assume. No problems. No, yeah, no. No problems of our own making. Yeah. Good. No Good. Uh, there's like maps on the table uh, laid down in front of me. Yeah. Can I, yeah. can I look for Pavis? 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think as you like start scanning down, you see a chart that looks similar to the one that you've been looking at that like Ben gave you that has like this cluster of planets that are kind of near Cerulean and stuff. And you could see one that like is, is underneath kind of a bunch of other loose sheets of paper. And I think you were able to like spot the like p-a-e-v-i like you know there's some other papers scattered around but i think you see this like yellow orb depicted far out on like the outer edge of the kind of but i can't tell like how far it is in relation to like anything any other reference of planets right now uh yeah great question uh i think make a perception check you're pretty good at that pretty good at that Oh, it's to the G. I have Whisper. I'm sorry. You do have Whisper, but that was a 21. <laughs> yeah. That's still actually quite, quite good. Um, I think that you're able to identify that, like... Uh, like, I think you look and you're able to, like, see what looks like the Decidium Spiral and then, like, Pavis. And it looks like it's out almost, like, past that, further out on, like, the orbit of, of like, these planetary systems around their collective sun. Got it. That's it. Um, Can I get a bead on this captain? He seems, by word, to be comparatively chill. Is that uh, the professor's assessment? Yeah. What are you trying? Are you trying to see? Like, do you know his name or his reputation? An insight check? Or are you just trying to like read him in this moment? Well, I guess my first question would actually be: This appears to be a military vessel of some type. I guess my my I guess the first thing Reginald would try and figure out is like, and uh, where does this fall into the 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 rank and file of like a military system? That's really what he's most interested. He's trying to figure out like who is this captain and what is his charge. Make a uh, history check for me. Okay, thank you. There's a long, complicated way to get to a history check. No, no problem. Let's, like, figure <laughs> out what you're trying to get to. The 24, I think that you're able to assess that, um, like, a ship like this, it's not, like, a full military vessel. There's way too many personnel on here that are not, like, armed and armored of the people that you saw when you came on. There were also a great deal of, like, containers, shipping containers, strapped down on, like, the exterior deck. So the, like, remnants of the armaments, you feel like at some point it might have been a military vessel that's been like downgraded and like absorbed gotcha. into like a more militant transport ship right it's like better armed and armored than your average carrier but um it's like clearly like a trading a shipping vessel and his attire is that of a current officer or possibly a retired officer yeah i think you read is that like it looks old right and like his battle scar he looks like an older gif uh you could imagine that he may have like retired from whatever like military outfit he was part of um and is just like captaining this in like his later years to like you know stay uh in the world and of the world you know got it um, cool. So I think that you like led back out. Uh, you like step back out of like the, the cabin, the captain kind of like standing in the door frame behind you. And he's just like, um, he's like, Macron, we're, uh, we're going to be keeping this lot till we get to the Aether station. I believe we have a, an empty cabin that they can squeeze into. Uh, this one here has volunteered them for work details, so put them where they can be useful. We've got a mechanic amongst them, and, uh, well, he's probably a big brain. Uh, he, like, gestures here. Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, um, <clears throat> I could be of some assistance, I believe, if it involves thought. If, uh, you have any trouble, um, address it to her. I'm going to be very busy. And I think it's like um, Thank you, Captain. Safe travels. Wish your crew well. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Th thank you. Did he and so, yeah, he turns back into the cabin and, like, this first mate is out here with you and she's just like, um, all right, well, yeah. All right, here, come on. I'll show you the cabin. Come on. And yeah. she brings you, like, down another flight of stairs into the belly of the ship towards one of the doors that, like, she, like, wrenches open. There's this kind of acrid smell coming from inside of it. It's kind of gross. There's four hammocks. And she's like, um, 
We didn't really have a chance to clean it after, uh... Well, I mean, never mind. Anyway, this should be fine for you. W worry not. Thank you. Wait, what happened? Yeah. Game of dice went bad. There was a little bit of a stabbing. A couple of people murdered each other. These things happen in space. Yeah, it's super normal. Yeah. Do happen Ooh. in space. Yeah. Well, we'll squeeze in here. Your Jeez. name was... Be a problem for us. Yeah. My name? Macron. Macron. What, 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 one more time, please? Macron. Is that not easy for you? Ma it's not spellable? Ma right off Ma of my... Like the dessert yeah, macaroon. 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 Not a macaroon. No, not macaroon. Macron. Like macaron. Yes. Like saccharin, like, but macaron. Like, like More a like macaron, yes. but, but rin. I do love macaron. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. 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 All right, here's uh, your room. Do you love cookies? You want to come help? Uh, yeah. You can move some things. I was going to say, you got an engine room or something that needs help? Any, any, Engine's running anything broken? just fine. But we have a few broken sails we could get you to work on. Sure. All right. All right. Perhaps we take a minute to get uh, uh, accommodated to our <laughs> new accommodations. You all uh, enjoy each other. Uh, you'll get used to the smell. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. I think as soon as she <laughs> leaves, the door and walks like out. Reginald immediately turns around and is like, I shall have prestidigitation prepared <laughs> in the morning and we. That's great. Thanks. Yeah. That's great. Um, no, don't use haste. Just use press the digitation. So, <laughs> I was thinking about something. Yeah. Um, we don't really want to walk into the Aether Station looking like this. No. Well, no. But uh, I don't know how... <laughs> You know, now that to, like for him to provide us room, you know, it seems like it all everything went well, and then doesn't be like. Also, we have to disguise ourselves before we go. Yeah, so I feel like Oof. maybe we're gonna have to do that right when as we, we get, get in. The <laughs> yeah, like, hmm. like disappear into the crowd and yes. yeah, be someone else. You know, uh -huh. except you, they don't know you. They don't. Well, he might. He could. Well, he can camp, see so. right through me. I uh, I plan on. Uh, as soon as we... Yeah, but once we get him there, once yeah. we get right there, who cares? Yeah, yeah. we just had to get there without being stopped. What, what roughly mm. is the distance between where a ship would dock and where we believe Arkham to be? We have... It's like a small place. Like, uh, ultimately, I want you to imagine like a keep, right? Uh, so like this kind of like walled structure. It's it's a fortress, right? So it's uh, it's bigger than a building, but um, everything is like within kind of ten minutes of where you guys are going to land. Oh, a very right? walkable. No it appears to be yeah, a very, walk very <laughs> walkable <laughs> space keep. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well then, it appears we have inserted ourselves inside the horse that will enter the city mm -hmm. now all that is left is to wait until nightfall and wreak havoc yeah i think my my plan was to maybe like rub some elbows with some other like mechanical types on the yeah. ship see if that might like loosen some info about elbow, that's like a, the that's like a mechanical, mechanical thing you do yeah yeah you like touch elbows because your hands yeah, are all so greasy you can't so you hands. just like you mm -hmm. rub elbows and stuff yeah i've just had a thought uh and i'm not the best person to assess this but is there any possibility that this could be a trap sure oh yeah absolutely oh, yeah. uh most no, assuredly mm -hmm. oh ah uh, uh, well, well then. Um, <laughs> what are you gonna do about it, though? You know. Yeah, you know. Just gotta. How would, how would we, how would we know? Don't. I don't Any of you try to like get a sense if the, you know, captain was lying? I didn't. I just it... took him totally at face value. <laughs> 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 Me too. Yeah. No, it seemed very uh, up yeah, on nope, the level. Nope. Didn't even like... think no? about it. Yeah. Okay. I I was a yep. bit caught off guard. I, in my history with others of my ancestry, I found yeah. them to be. Less hospitable, mm -hmm. uh, and I that guy was... seemed like a totally cool. Yeah, hospital. that probably should have set off some some <laughs> red flags, shouldn't it? What that he was hospitable? Yeah, perhaps yeah. that is simply progress. Maybe, maybe, but we also like recently picked a fight with a bunch of. Gambles. So well, they were also way meaner than that guy. 
yeah, like they were jerks, but I'm just I'm just saying like maybe this guy is also a jerk and just wasn't being a jerk to be nice to us so that we would follow. I mean, the I trap. can go like try and talk to him some more, you know, like captain on captain, you know, figure it out. Wow, when did you get a promotion? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just because I'm like acting like I'm captain. I'm good with it. I'm good with uh, you being captain. It's fine. Yeah, no, yeah. obviously I fully support yeah. this. Uh, yes, I, I feel compelled to have some sort of election at some point, but you do have my well, No, 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 not, not officially, just in this scenario right now. Oh, yes. Well then, scenario captain, go ahead. Slippery slope once you get into power, you know, <laughs> so, you know. I don't know. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. But it, it's perhaps fine. we no, should develop good. some yeah, means no, of no. overriding the captain's rule with perhaps a two-thirds majority. No, of the no, crew. no. What it, what, like you know, it's just title. It's title only. Except like the we're... three-thirds majority on matters that are. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Rich. Did you say whimsy or governmental structure when you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that? Is it like high governmental structure, bureaucratic? Hey, you get politically uh, aware people <laughs> on the D and D game. Things are going up. I just forgot. Like those wise, <laughs> yeah, I don't. I thought they were kind Perhaps of. Perhaps if we build some sort of sort of provincial one. structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, Two thirds. Term term limits limits yeah, term limits, term limits, term limits definitely. <laughs> yeah. Term limits definitely. Only, okay, only okay, entitled. okay. That's it. Uh, just a few pieces of order here. Who's got the sending stones? Um. Uh, Oh, are, are whoever conveniently yeah. needs them. <laughs> 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 right. Sending stone of convenience. I, I think that Reginald is is most likely to hold on to one. Uh, you definitely had one because, will... like, when we were yeah. on the two ships, so... you were split them between the yeah. ships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, should so be Reginald's between the yeah I think then. one is left with uh, the dragonfly with mm -hmm. the bad man and Asterius yep. Jake. The other is with uh, me. Uh, as I think the other three are more likely to be doing things, and Reginald will attempt to float between the various areas of the ship. What about the uh, the Shadow Chronicle? Did you guys take the orb no. with you, or the orb is no. On no. The no. absolutely on the no. dragon? No. Something oh is on the dragon. No, no. no. creepy orb. No, no. no. stay on the dragon. No. You know. We We're left not the scary power. magic item with the players that are not the rover or the dragon. Yeah. yeah, no. It's on the rover by itself. With Cade and Sharp Jumper. And Morris. Yeah, I mean, you gotta Wait, pick. Wait, maybe that's not better. Sharp Jumper and Yana? No, no, no. Or it's no, with no, Asturias, no. Jake, and, and Ben. Yeah, did, we bring, boy, did we bring Yana? Oh, yeah. yeah. So Yana has been with us? Yeah. So, okay. yeah, Yana's You've been so quiet. Oh, yeah, on, it's very Yana, small. It's, it's, so easy to, it's yeah. quite easy to overlook me, really. I'm very, very small. <laughs> I'm even taller than I used to be. Oh, mm -hmm. And so with that, you guys want to spend the next couple of days that you're on the November storm, like kind of scattering amongst the crew. Yeah. Is that the agenda here? Yeah. Doc, like they bring you in to help prepare some of the sails that are made from like this really high tensile fabric, some kind of like crazy space bug silk. Uh, you're not precisely sure which one. Um, but yeah, if you want to like try to like get some information, like what are you looking for out of them when you're like looking for stuff over the like days? I think I just want to, like, figure out what they know about Occam or, like, any um, defenses that they may have, which seems like a very uh, obvious question to ask that might give That's away. super but fair. But just kind of, like, what what's the process for, like, getting in? Like, when you mm -hmm. go, like, what do you need to do to, like... What do you need paperwork? So think, do you need, you know, are there doors? What's going yeah, on? I think over the course of like the two days of you kind of like chatting with the various mechanics and the other um, people like tasked with like the making the repairs here on the November storm. Let's have you make a persuasion check uh, over the course of these days, like small bits of conversation with different folks here and there to see kind of how much information you can tease out. 17 is pretty good. So I think that they talk about how, um, I think some of them are like, um, one of them is probably like, actually, I've heard that he's uh, he's been in quite a position in the last couple of weeks. Uh, the captain had reason to speak with the mercenary group, the Black Blades Band, who had shipped out uh, just before us. They were en route here to the Aether Station. I think that's part of why we're stopping. Supposedly, he's um, hard up for goods and materials. He's taken a bit of a hit. And as for uh, 
security. I mean, I don't know. He sends most of his people teaming over the ships when we arrive. I know he's got, he's very paranoid about people coming and going from his little fiefdom there. It's a sort of a black market operation where, where it's a little off the books, this stop for us. But uh, the captain's got a lot of leeway. So they're, you know, they have weapons. I mean, they point them at us, but I've never seen any kind of a fight there or anything like that. I can't imagine why that would happen. So, okay, so they'll come check out the ship, mm -hmm. probably they when we They wanted die. to do that the, the last sorry, time, the black... right? But it, that's, this is not the ghosts. This is, that's, that's where we had the cobalt revolution. That's what, that was Cerulea. Uh, mm -hmm. But they yeah. did check out the Where we convinced them we had a ghost. The so they they did check time. out your ship, and it was so small. They were just like, oh, shit, okay, yeah. you don't have, like, cargo, right? But I think that what they're telling you, Doc, is, like, most of the security personnel at the Aether Station will be, like, tasked with dealing with the ship as it lands, right? So, like, mm -hmm. you can infer that what that means about, like, his personal security detail, right, during this window. Um, and, like, last time you just, like, got off your ship and proceeded to, like, walk right into his building, you know? Like, you were escorted by somebody, but they did walk you right in. Like, he kind of wants to show off, look at all my cool stuff, right? Uh -huh. Can I... Um, and then the thing you were saying about the Black Blades is that they recently came and left, or they... You, the, like... you had already gotten information from Morris a couple of weeks ago, but the Black Blades band are... Uh... Yes, but my memory I is know, I know, rich. Yeah, they're gift mercenaries. <laughs> and so, like, putting all the pieces together, you're like, oh, so these people saw them a couple of days ago. They got to the Aether Station already. Like, they may be there. They may already be gone right. looking for us. But, like, they were in front of this ship, and, like, the captain has some kind of relationship where, like, he got word that Occam's in hard shape, which is why they're coming here. Gotcha. Can I ask a question? When um, this particular crew, would I be able to like get a sense of whether, when the ship lands, will they all just head off onto the Aether Station, or will some of them just like hang until they're done whatever they're? It'll be to like do? fifty fifty. Uh, half the personnel will be allowed like pretty much immediately on the ship landing to like make their way out amongst the community to like spend money, get drinks, get rooms, do whatever they're gonna do. The other half of the people are gonna be tasked with like staying on the ship to help unload and like sort through stuff and deal with all the like uh, sales negotiations that will come afterwards, right? Okay. And I think they give you, Grace, Rhea, like, they're like, oh, yeah, he's usually got, like, a purchaser, right? Occam, like, sends one of his representatives to, like, scope out what are we carrying and what is he selling. And, like, they negotiate, and then Occam makes an appearance before we leave, usually. Okay. Uh, Lux, what are you trying to do over these couple of days? Lux is just kind of, like, um, trying to talk with the captain or, like, even the first mate. Um Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know if she's even successful in doing that. Like, she wants to talk to the captain, but... Yeah, you could get it. the captain. I would say that Reginald would assist in that, uh, presenting as some sort of embedded researcher uh, following the crew. Okay, I think the pair of you, like, by the, like, kind of, like, the evening of that first night, you're, like, on the deck, you're talking with Macron a little bit, and you see the captain, like, make his way out of his quarters, like, come back on, down onto the main deck, and he's just, like, uh, you know, inquires with her a little bit, like, is everything in order? Uh, these lot haven't been in any trouble then. Uh, you all are attended to? I know the room wasn't cleaned properly, but it's not really my responsibility. Easily taken care of, Jeez. Captain. Not a problem. Um, I was wondering if I could perhaps talk to you. I, uh, have been a part of a few merchant guilds, and, uh, perhaps we, uh, have some friends in common. Well, I'm sure. I mean, there's only so many of us working in this industry, of course. Um, and Rich, uh, uh, not that I just came up with this name on the spot, but, um, Lux's like parents like were mm -hmm. like a part of like a pretty prominent merchant guild um, mm -hmm. called the Guild of Common Embers. So mm -hmm. yeah, I think Lux like mentions this is like, yeah, my parents were, you know, the Guild of Common Embers for many years. I grew up on their ship. Um, you familiar with them at all? Of course. I mean, there's a few ships in their fleet. A uh, large organization, really. 
I've always done fine business with them. Perfectly fine. They didn't want to pay my rates. Yes. Well, nobody wants. Y- your, your rates, Captain. Uh, you are a sell uh, a captain for hire. Yes. Oh no, no! In my younger days, I ran with some mercenary organizations, but uh, that's behind me. I'm too old to spend my days looking for fights for coin. No, no. The ship, however, well, she's the sum total of my life's work, really. Nearly every campaign that I hired onto, some portion thereof was held back in hopes that someday I could captain my own vessel. This one was a good purchase when I got her. I built it quite up. Fought many good fights, but now, well, she just carries things. There is no issue with carrying. It is something our lot are built well for. I Must I ask, uh, the November Storm, uh, from where does that name come? <laughs> Was uh, an old associate, believe it or not. November Grey. Dangerous sort. Exciting. Kept your blood hot and your heart pounding when they were about. Never a dull moment, really. We used to joke. Any campaign with November Grey on your ship, you were certain to be flying in the eye of the storm. Just an old name to remember an old soul. I have to ask, has Reginald ever heard this name before? Uh, I think not. I think that the captain goes on like um, they told a mad story of another place that they were from. Another sphere, they said. I was never really sure what anyone meant by that entirely, but musings of a world from beyond that they ended up here from was a sort of great hope of theirs that they might travel far enough across the width and breadth of the stars to find some way home. Everyone has a story in space, certainly, Professor, you know that. You look like a sagely sort. We just took it for that. Wins. A story. (laughs) What, I don't look rough and tumble enough? Well, I mean, your peers in the offshoot are not known for being so rough and tumble. I mean, that suit looks like it's well taken care of, but... Not quite as formal as some of the others I would know amongst yours. Yes, well, when one is uh, off of Kisandi, one dresses in a more uh, casual way in order to fit in. I'll be frank with you, Professor. I'm not... I'm not so opposed. I understand. A lot of expected is expected of us. The training, the discipline, the demand that it puts on a person. It's a lot. I don't blame you all for running off with your books. It grieves me, but I don't blame you for it. Well, there was a time when our not so different, and a few made a choice. That is a choice that is available to all. And should you or anyone else choose to turn away from the militarism of the GIF, you know where to find my people. Judge me as you see fit, but I've chosen my own path. I've found a course for myself where I don't have to spill blood every day. But I still know how. Nonetheless, it's at least interesting to make your acquaintance. Yes. I think, like, the professor would look awkwardly at Lux. Well, 
Thank you <laughs> so much for that information. We're again very thankful for this passage, and uh, yeah, we'll get back to uh, you know doing other other stuff. Thanks. No problem at all, young lady. I appreciate you putting your crew to work here. I think he slaps oh. you on the shoulder. You're like, oh, he's very strong. You know? <laughs> he's just like him. You keep it up, maybe someday you'll have a ship of your own that doesn't shit the bed in the middle of a shipping lane. Yeah, right. It's just terrible. Yeah, thanks. And she like think like it's like Nothing a personal, half-hearted but I think, like. Uh, you may need to think about replacing your mechanic. Uh, there's quite a few good folks. Up <laughs> no, near no, the no, 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 no. She's on. the best around. Oh, that. Around, yes. Uh, whatever you say. Mm. Indeed. Loyalty will only get you so far in space, girl. That's all I'm saying. You see her work. So I think that, uh, yeah, after your days passed, information gained, uh, kind of two days passed, you know? The crew is, like, mostly jovial in this place. The food kind of fucking sucks. Everybody is, like, really ready to be done with this journey. They've been flying for, like, the better part of a month. Uh, Rune was, like, their last stop. Um, yeah. And so I think... Can we have one more brief moment yeah, before sure. we arrive? Yeah, you guys are all... I just all, think, yeah, like, a little yep. bit of a team huddle. Yep. And I think, uh, among other things, Reginald would just say... Um, we have a strategy, but that will not survive long. I do carry with me a fear that perhaps there are more like me or unlike me upon the station and that may need to change our tactics mm -hmm. so with great apologies in advance I shall do my own best to just make it up and I'll expect nothing but you gotta the same roll with you. the punches that's what's gonna happen just what you know, we're walking in. We don't really know what we're up against. We know he's got all sorts of trinkets, and this could go really bad. And we gotta do what we gotta do, because I'm not having this guy chase us all across the galaxy. Yeah. I think there might be, like, this moment of um, emotion from Doc that is, like, not super common uh, as she looks to the three of you. It's like, it's been really nice getting to know you too and, and reconnecting Lux I've, yeah. I've, I've had a good time too yeah are you yeah uh, are you right are you, are you uh, same but you know oh I just think like we're all pretty likely to die uh, and that oh. so I just I wanted know, to say that likely that happens strong yeah. but maybe okay, not but there's like not, not in, there's yeah there's you, a non-zero chance you right? single-handedly killed an a wind elemental, you know? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and uh, the two of us just took strong. down, like, a shadow demon alone. Like... Yeah, and Occam, like, summoned a uh, version of himself made of snow and that sent it to us. That doesn't sound as powerful when you're sold it. And nearly wiped us out. Yeah, he really. Stayed, he summoned someone out of ice. It doesn't sound and he had terrible. all sorts of trinkets, and we took him down, and he summoned a demon. We did it. True. And this time we have Yana... We've got the backup team that we can contact whenever. I am right here, yes. I'm just... Oh, I get... No, it's great. I just... Yes. Right. It, it does, I, I guess, beg the question. Uh, should one of us fall? Uh, what... What is to be done? Uh, are, are you uh, the type that should uh, seek to evade that outcome? Uh, or do we make arrangements to t take a body somewhere else I, 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 we we have spent much time with one another but i do not know these things um, i mean we can contact the dragonfly so you know need be we get them in here we've we've ran we've run out of this place mm -hmm. with stuff in hand before so i guess if we have to do it again you know yeah, if we can carry a ruby plant out of here, surely we can, you know, yeah. carry each other. <laughs> oh, I sure had a found a, uh, a diamond before we came here. <laughs> yeah, that would have yeah, been, really been great. Honestly, <laughs> the one item we have here somewhere. <laughs> That's true. 
probably does have probably got a ton in there actually should anything happen to me there is a letter inside of my coat pocket and at the very least i would greatly appreciate it if you could extract that from the aether station yeah with thanks um yeah i guess if i die i mean doc you know where my parents are so just you know tell them maybe um but dad we're gonna be fine like we're like we're, we're way stronger than we think we are we're always downplaying ourselves. Why are we doing that? We're so badass. I think it's at this moment, Reginald, you have the sending stone. You hear a voice in your mind like, um, uh, hello? Hello? Is this thing on? What? 25 words? Oh. Oh, my mistake. Sorry about that. I think that we're under it. What? <laughs> ben. 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 Ben, 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 please, please respond. Oh, no, I didn't know I could use this thing more than once a day. They just said 25 words, and I was trying ben, to worry about the back? count, and I ended up getting caught up. Oh, my. <laughs> no, it's me again. I'm back. Uh, there's a ship out here, Professor, and it's got a bunch of, of yous on it. They've got a flag. It's got a big black blade. Ben, those are not me. Those are not me's. Please, evasive maneuvers, please. <laughs> evasive get maneuvers. Out. He says evasive maneuvers. It's what? It's... They can't hear me. Hold on, hold on. I gotta they hang can't up. Hear you? Did on. they bring him to the ether to the ether station? Sorry, this is really confusing. I'm talking to them in the ship, but also I'm talking to you at the same time through the stone. Do we do we tell the dragonfly to come to the aether station? They, and they, we're making evasive yeah. maneuvers. Oh! <laughs> Ben, are you okay? Are they, are you under attack? Uh, 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 just provide updates, please. I information. I didn't know Jay could fly like this. I think we're upside down. <laughs> so tell them, come, lure them here. Then we'll fight them there. I yeah. I just stay kind of close, I guess. <sighs> uh, uh, come, come, cl come close. I gotta uh, go. Come... Sharp Jumper says he's trying to put himself in the catapult. Shh. I don't think that's great. That's idea. weird because Sharp Jumper's on the rover. Run the rover. <laughs> The dragonfly? What? That's happened? not Sharp Jumper! <laughs> There's an imposter on board! <laughs> hey, should I bond with this orb? It keeps asking. Hey, I gotta go! No! Do not oh, buy the buddy! <laughs> Me and the, you know. <laughs> Remember part, the buddy of, system, and your buddy can't not be Lux the orb. Part of me or the plant. That orb can put them in the the shadow plane. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, they could be. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. Let's let it play out. So, Lure them to the dra to the aether station now. Uh, as like you know, it's the morning after like your second night here on the November storm. And I think that the camera like fades to black on like the four of you in like sort of smelly murder room, and it opens back up to the sight of the. Oh, it's much. That's it's pressed It's pressed I forgot. It. It smells like a lovely kelp cookie. <laughs> I think that you see, <laughs> you see the form of this November storm. This massive kind of brig, the ballista catapults, weapons of war and destruction, armor plating on the outside as it begins to lower over the site of the Aether Station, this kind of fortress sitting on almost what looks like the top of a mountain, sheared off and inverted, right? This kind of uh, cone of stone pointing down beneath it. Uh, much of the walls on the exterior of this fortress, like battered, broken, b under uh, various states of disrepair. I think you see soldiers on the walls looking up towards the ship as a lot of you are kind of looking out the portholes and as it kind of like lowers itself down over like the landing area a series of warehouses out in like the open courtyard a bunch of these small kind of like shanty dwellings battered houses made from kind of secondhand materials bits of metal and stone and wood cobbled together to make the kind of various like ramshackle housing that keeps the people of the Aether Station uh, sheltered. Yeah, 
you guys like land right anchors are like tossed over the edge of the ship and like seeded into like these kind of mooring hooks that are down on the ground there's an amassment of kind of people on the ground uh, mostly orc and dwarves uh which like matches a lot of the folk that you saw working for akam when you were here last time uh i think on the way in lux like looks you guys like you know not for nothing but uh should we try and maybe you know this is a heavily uh you know weaponized and armored ship um do you think it would be worth it to maybe like nod to the captain like get his i don't know maybe uh mention if Anything is happening to defend their ship or something? Are you suggesting that we attempt to draw the captain into our own conflict? I don't know. Maybe. I think one thing that could... Well, uh, I don't know. I was thinking about paying the captain some money so that... Uh, he would let us go leave the ship in disguise. But again, it just throws our cover in away, our story. Well, I mean, if we go fast enough, I think yeah, not. I don't think it would. I think there's a means by which we could show our gratitude and engender the support of the captain without uh, indicating that we are, are creating any sort of skirmish. I'm in favor. What else are we going to spend money on? We haven't encountered a store in goodness. Weeks. Ten days. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, can't we, like, come up with a story about how, you know, we just, when we get to a new place, we like to travel looking as, you know, nondescript as yeah. possible. Not suspicious at all. For, yes. I don't know. Yeah. I'm it thinking is, for like. It is an important part of the research methods of, of ethnography that one must blend into the surroundings. There, yeah. Right. So as not to like disturb the, 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 the results that one would assess. Feels like we're landing, so we should go. <laughs> we should go <laughs> good. Okay. You are landing. Uh, yeah. Four, 400 gold seems sure. good. Yeah. Good. Sure. Uh. So I, I think at some point, like, Reginald would definitely, like, at, like you know, uh, before he's in the midst of, like, all the landing protocols and everything, just, like, show up with, like, 400 gold to the captain and just express his Lux gratitude. Lux is there, too, to uh, and, help. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And, uh, uh, you know, I think anyone else who wants to be there, but, uh, yes, just, like, so you hand him this sack of coin, and he's like, um, this is, uh, very generous of you. I could, uh, deny it, but I wouldn't want to disrespect the overture, so I won't. Thank you. We wanted to show our appreciation, and perhaps... Request your discretion. Well, I am, um, despite my size and some others' expectations, quite a discreet fellow when it comes to the matter. You would rather us not mention your limp ship out there in the distance, or you entirely? Both, preferably. Does not sound like the standard practices of a reputable guild, Miss Tam Fay, but... Told you, we're just starting out, and, uh... Perfectly honest, uh... The Builder is of concern. But... Well, that's not my concern, Indeed. then. As far as... I'm concerned. All my relevant cargo is accounted for. And here on our ship. So I would encourage the pair of you to, uh... 
expedite your egress. And that we will. Farewell, Gift Q. Mayhap we will meet again. Good luck with your guild. Thank you, Captain. Young lady. Okay. And so what are the what are the four of you doing? Just to like reset here? Is there a disguise occurring? Yeah. yeah. Rhea would want to look like sort of like somebody who works on the ship. Who's, you know, can be a little bit shorter though there's anybody as tall as Rhea on the ship. So at least three feet short the most can be three feet shorter. Um, okay. So maybe like uh, I don't know who's tall. Like elves are kind. They're kind of tall, right? They yeah, tall. there's a few tall yeah. elves. Yeah. So would but like would try to find somewhere where she could like do that, like use disguise, not just like right on the open at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Uh, as like the gangplank is being lowered from the deck of the ship down into like the landing yard, uh, Rhea is able to like slip between a couple of containers, or you could even do it in the room before you leave. Right? Uh, it's disguise self, so you have like an hour. Uh -huh. Is that correct? Uh -huh. Okay. So you yep. like use your your latent Fearbolg magic, uh, uh, casting this like glamour over yourself, so you appear as this like tall elven woman. Uh, Doc Lux Professor, what, do you, what exactly are you guys doing? Are you doing anything? Uh, I think. Lux yeah, I think Doc is gonna change the color of her hair, um, kind of change her facial features, just make her. Uh, I think she's just gonna try to like. Um, smoothen out some of her features so that she just looks a little bit different, uh -huh. right? Like, so she, her cheeks are a bit rounder, kind of, um, you know, changes with some makeup, like changes uh, the shape of her face and, and kind of sets up a disguise as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think Lux goes for like a human um, with like long black hair and yeah, like does a similar thing where she like changes her facial features just so so she's not like instantly recognizable okay and professor you uh just keep that bow tie off um no <gasps> would it be possible in in the week or so that we're aboard the ship or however many days i didn't hear was it a couple of days yeah you were on this mm -hmm. ship for two days at least yeah, for two, two days half, yeah to possibly try and uh get my hands on some uh, possibly of the captain's dirty clothes or some military type gear. Yeah, how would you have tried to do that, let me ask, as you guys are like throwing money around, is that a, what do you, how do you try to accomplish that? I think first, like, it's, it's a whole thing that you don't have time for, sure. but it's literally like a scout and if it's available, like uh, a steel with some assistance. But if not, then like find who does the laundry and pay them off. Those are like yeah. plan A, plan B. Yeah. I think yeah. that you realize it's like very risky for you to try to steal the clothes as they're in his chamber. Right, but you are able to like get a bead on laundry person in the midst of docks, especially like repairing the sails. So I was thinking like the yeah, the rubbing elbows with like the lower tier folk on the ship was like very. Much so it comes down to like how much you willing to spend, you know, uh, and that will determine what happens. I think of like, <laughs> like whether or not there's a roll or a roll with advantage, or they just give you what you want. Like, what would their opening offer be? I think that you're the one in need here, you know? They're just yeah. like, oh, you willing to pay? Uh, yes. If we have money, spend it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, How much I'm you got, willing to man? pay. I have... What's a burn to you? A hundred gold? Oh, fuck yeah, you can have this, this old guy's dirty <laughs> clothes, yeah. I, 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 I meant, I meant uh, uh, with which, of which I, I could spend a portion. Um... <laughs> Well, I could give you a portion of the clothes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that we just got like 500 gold on dirty. It's fine. It's fine. It's it's fine. It's I fine. think for like 100 gold, you easily get one of the, prof one of the professors, one of the captain's like old uniforms, the whole thing, you know? It's got the gold tassels. Incredible. It's got like metal. I just, need, on side. I just yeah. need to say this out loud. Nathan Lane. The bird yeah. cage. Yeah, oh, oh. Yeah, 
it is deeply that energy where he's yeah. like coming out. <laughs> what? Yes. Too much? <laughs> you look incredible. I do not know that this is a good plan, but it is a plan. Yes. And so. That's all we need. Can I ask, are you trying to be the captain or are you just trying to blend? Okay. Can I like remove some of the gold embellishments <laughs> and try to like help Aww. him blend in more? Oh, well. Okay. You look great, Reggie. I like this. And I'm, I'm gonna like smear some dirt from like you know I just assume I'm constantly dirty oh, yeah, 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 yeah. and just try to like green rough a little bit yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> help him with his disguise. By the way, what was the captain's last name? I didn't hear that originally. Aurelis. Uh, Aurelis. Aurelis. O r e l i s. Okay, thank you. No problem. Okay. And I think uh, as the ship descends and the gangplank extends, we're just going to try and like work so our way against the masses. Yeah. Two super inconspicuous humans and a super inconspicuous elf walk down off the gangplank with a yeah. uh, with a gift cube wearing a military uniform with a little bit of grease and minus a little bit of regalia. And the four of you, as you like land, you see like orcs and dwarves. They're kind of like circling around the ship. A couple of the dwarves like yelling commands like, uh, you lot up those ropes over there, count the two. One of them's got like a leg. Ledger is kind of like checking things off. They're like talking to people as um, the four of you come off, like standing at the bottom of the gangplank. I think it's a dwarf. His skin is like this very kind of like sickly looking gray. His hair, this frazzled, wiry gray. He reminds you of the dwarf that like was here and received you when you guys came here last time, though it's a different guy specifically. And they're just like, um, you all are looking for rooms, drink, food. Uh, yeah. Where's the food? Yeah, that food way. Just that way. Don't make Thank any you. trouble, or Akam will kill you. Yep. Thanks. You got it. Yep. All right. Yeah. It's a big four of you kind of like <laughs> just shuffling past, and like pretty quickly here you are again. You remembered, like, kind of crazed flight back from, like, Occam's, like, uh, palace, his showroom, as it were. The building that he, like, keeps his home in, his kind of, like, central headquarters, is not an ornate, ostentatious place from the outside. Uh, like a, like, stocky, kind of squ simple square exterior, crenellations on the top. It's very much like just this, this fort that got dropped here very plainly. It's been smashed and battered from battles fought here like long years past um this kind of like gate around the outside of it big wide like double stairs leading up through the front door can i ask when he's when uh, the guy was like food over that way is that like the way we know we we're supposed to go <laughs> yeah okay. yeah it's pretty like straightforward you're parked like right on the edge of like the like wall you know it's like the ship the wall and then like everything is that everything. way so you're like great yeah great right, great yeah um so yeah what do you guys I, want I to believe I believe that we, we uh, what, what, a frontal assault? What, what are we doing? Uh, find Akam and kill him. Yeah. Good. Done. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the plan's gone flawlessly up till now. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> Theoretically, like, try to, um, free some things along the way. Yeah. yeah. Degree. Some Who's good got... things, not the... Oh, who has the... Things. I assume Yana has it. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. We're taking Yana with us too. I keep forgetting. Yeah. Yes. Oh, right. Yeah. Is Yana disguised? Yes. We would like the paladin to come. Oh with my us God. Yana's Yana is not is disguised. Is Yana disguised? <laughs> oh shit. That's really Yana's important. Just like um, uh, I think we've overlooked something quite terrible we here. A, we just a, a cloak. Just get a cloak. Oh sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big old cloak yeah. with that oh hood. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> how how it. tall is Yana now? We love it. I can't believe I'm playing Yana. What just happened? You're playing Yana. Uh, yep. <laughs> How tall is Yana? Yana's like well over five feet now. Oh, okay, like, great. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. Yana's like so our normal. height. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If anyone should stop us, I will scare them off with my bravado and oh, that's, that's strength. Cool. That's yes. Good. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's very intimidating. Yes. Okay. 
Donna with the cloak over their head, pulled tight around their face. Uh, wow. <laughs> Forgot about that. We forgot about that. <laughs> Whoopsies. Whoopsies. So, what do you guys want to do? You want to go right first place? Yeah. It's the five. Uh, like, yeah, is I there? Guess. Should we do like a, a circle? Wait, I don't totally understand entrances? the layout. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like... Yeah. 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 So, there's not. <laughs> if we don't walk in the front door. Like, right. <laughs> if we imagine, I should have like made a map for this. But if we imagine the place is like a big square, you're in kind of like the bottom right corner is where the ship parked, right? And kind of his place is in sort of the top left corner, like the opposite side of this like square, right? And then you have like the front like left corner is a bunch of like residences and stuff like that along the right wall are a ton of like warehouses and sort of in the space and like the middle center are like a few like businesses right there's like taverns and restaurants not a ton of them but like eateries like drinking holes you know this sort of stuff so as far as like circling around like if you imagine the top right corner of the square has got its own fenced in, it's like its own quadrant of the place. You guys have to go through like another separate gate into this walled courtyard. From there, if you want to start circling the building, you could though like it's pretty much straight up. Like you come through the gate into a big open courtyard and there's stairs leading right up into the building, right? With these double doors that were kind of like hanging open for all to see last time, yeah. And the gate is guarded? It was not last time you were here, but as you're walking up now, you do see a couple of guards like standing out in front of the gate. These dwarves, these like gray skinned, kind of crazy eyed dwarves. Let's just say we want to meet Occam. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think last time, yeah. Doc is going to like walk up very confidently. Um, we are explorers, you know, been out in space. Occam's going to want to see what we have. Um, so I think. We're just going to go inside, if that's cool. I also think, as yeah. Doc says this, Reginald is just walking right past <laughs> Amazing. Like, as if yeah. the, the, like, act like mm -hmm. you're meant to be there. Yeah. Doc, make a persuasion check. It's not yeah, Can Lux be helping yeah, her? Yeah, make a deception check. Thank you. Sure, I've no been problem. trying to do deception this whole time, and you keep making me roll persuasion. Because you're saying you're being oh. nice. You're being friendly. Uh, I'm not trying to be nice. I'm trying I'm to lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think that he, well, he's just you know. like, um, well, what exactly do you have? What is it that you're trying to sell to Yana? I mean, to Occam. <laughs> is that Yana in there under that cloak? What's going on? Uh, we don't really want to discuss that with anybody but Occam, uh, with all due respect, pal. Um, That's fair. I'm uh, really not that useful. It should have no business talking to you about any of this. Yeah. Ooh. All right. You can head right in. <laughs> Great. <laughs> wow. Wow. A wisdom like, of minus one. You all go following, like, the professor. I think you hear the other guy, like, That's do you think we should have let them in? Well, sure. Minus three. They're on serious business. <laughs> That's a... Minus three, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're gonna go. Thank you. Great. Have a good Thank one. The professor is like Bye. three steps ahead, but he's like trying to slow his gait yeah, so like, that they will like, catch up because he doesn't <laughs> want to be the first one in. Uh huh. And so I think that like the five of you come like striding up these double like set of stairs, this low rising staircase through these double doors. What are we thinking? <laughs> Can I ask something? The double so, doors, like, there's two yeah. guards there. Are they like yeah. in front of the doors that would close them? Or is the door like inside that would then like close? Great question. The doors actually open out right and so the doors are like open out of the room that you're in and the other guards were like further away though as you come in there's a couple of guards in here so there's no guards like right next to the doors if that makes sense right okay does that track yeah just thinking if i want to close the door. <laughs> yeah me too i'm kind of curious as the five of you come striding in you catch sight of another like four of these dwarves right um i think like one of them is like talking to another just in front of an empty container right near the front of the room the container that held yana at one point 
another two of them are like leaning up against these big potted plants like kind of a little bit closer to the entrance and I think one of them like casually glances up as you come in and turns looking back to the others like uh somebody's here hello do we recognize that guy as you look back you totally recognize the like one dwarf who's like talking to the other one up in front of you he's got a bit of a beard and a headband uh he was like here with uh akam and yana when you guys were here last time okay i'm gonna say um, i am gonna say like um um yeah we have important uh, things to talk of, talk with you about so uh, i think it's a little bit private so I'm, yeah and i just go and turn to close the are they like okay. giant heavy victors? <laughs> yeah, it. we've traveled across like space. We got we got cool stuff to show you. Um, yeah. I, well, I don't know. Like, you don't all have to be here for this, but like, we're trying to. You know, we think Akam might be interested. Yeah. Okay, Rhea goes to close the doors, and I think you hear Yana just like, um, I'll help you with that. And they, like, go and, like, grab the door and start pulling. And I think the cloak, like, gets hooked a little bit as they're pulling the door closed. Doc, what are you saying? You're telling this one guy, like, we need to talk to Occam and you don't need to be here. And so I think this dwarf, like, steps forward towards you. Why don't you make a separate deception check here, Doc? As he's, like, Yeah, um, that has to go better than last time. Yeah, yeah, he's just like, sure. Occam is a busy man. Occam has a lot on his plate today. The November storm is just... Is that... Is that... And I think we hear... I think we hear Yana like, Oh! Oh! As like the cloak and they like stumble a little bit. The cloak coming off their face. Professor, what were you going to say? I was going to say the professor, like the second that he would sense this or like some issue, he would like step in between. And I think he would say like, Is there a problem here? (laughs) The little dwarf is like, yeah, there's a problem. That's an escaped piece of property. As he points at you. That's a person. And I think Yana Lux. turns around like, <laughs> my name is Yana. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Kevin. Um, I think we got to roll initiative right here. We do. Yeah. We do. Yeah. Yeah, get yeah, off things, but we got to roll. <sighs> initiative tracker, please. The door's closed? Uh, Yes, Grace, the doors are closed. You managed to, like, pull both doors oh closed. Are you trying leaves. to bar them? Is my if question. it's possible to lock it, I want to lock it. Yeah, so there's no, like, Continuing clear to lock, but I think, like, uh, you could shove something in, like, the handles if you want. You know? Is there something around or, I just, or something I have? Yeah, I think as you look next to you, you see this massive statue of this kind of dog-headed, like, golden person with a big gold scepter in their arms. And you can easily just grab the scepter and, like, shove it through the handles of the door. Uh, okay, uh, I'm Yana now. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Heck yeah, you guys. Mm. 24, Professor, you may act. I think he definitely like uh uh yeah I think he was like oh it's a problem and then when Yana's like I'm Yana he's like <gasps> <laughs> and, and immediately like uh throws his hands over in the next like uh half the closest possible halfling which appears to be Doc and will use his action to cast haste on Doc uh and will then use his bonus action to jump uh and leap on the other side of this person uh and that's his turn uh <laughs> that's it uh doc Great turn. yes sorry sorry lux he freaked oh, out no please <laughs> I'm professor that too. that's 24 you cast haste on the dock uh you like leap the sailing through the air with your ring of jumping crashing to the ground behind this this uh this sturder here that's your action that's your bonus action no more movement lux you're up on 18. uh yeah i think lux um first thing she's doing is yelling to yana yana you have the medallion go release that unicorn (laughs) <laughs> I don't think it's a unicorn, but yes, I will. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess um, 
well, you kind of want to leave that open, huh? Um, I think she, like, Lux, like, takes a step, like, in one, like, swift motion, like, knocking the arrow and, like, firing at this, the guy, like, right here. Okay. He, like, realizing what's happening is, like, looks at the professor. He watches the, like, hippopotamus fly through the air, landing on the ground, and he's just like, um, it's gonna be one of those days, huh? All right. And he starts, like, pulling for his short sword, like, turning just in time to look at you as the arrow flies loose. Oh, yeah, that 20, hits. 25. That should be plus my um, fighting style. But, yep. Arrow hammers into this little guy as he's yanking his short sword free for 11, 11. points of piercing damage. I think it, like, it's just, like, slashes across his face. He, like, screams, blood running down his face as he staggers back into the plan. He's still up, but he's badly hurt. Second shot. 20. That hits. Yeah, Ten. The, the second arrow like takes him in the throat and he just keels over. Uh boom! Dead. The sword like tang, clattering off the stone. Lux, that's your action. You got movement and a bonus action. Yeah, I think Lux uses the rest of her she was here, so that's oh no, that's not the button I would like. Um Yeah, but she's behind Doc, so that's ten. Then she moves her the rest of twenty to get up here. And uh, yeah, can she like pull her arrows out? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay, great, great. That's you it. You come, like, racing up, like, yanking the arrows out of this guy, uh, like, blood dripping off of them. Yana goes. They come, like, charging forward. I think sword coming loose out of the belt, um, and they're going to attack. Mm-hmm. With uh, advantage right oh. here, they like slash out 24 for 16 points of damage. Second attack. How many dice? Got so many so dice. Oh, wow. 22 oh, for my. another 17 points of damage. It's yeah, double you guys max damage on the, on the slashing. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, Yana comes like racing up behind this dwarf that is on you, Professor. The sword like just flashing twice as they like stagger. Uh, I'm just trying to double check if they're still up. I think they, points. yeah. They're like completely like staggered. They're alive, but barely like very very barely as yana then like rotates around the rest of their movement putting them next to you here that's their turn that's their movement no bonus action raya you're up on 13 um it's a lot of damage just did yeah um, uh and this dwarf like screams right it's just like um it's them i think i'm gonna be minimal with my uh with my spells here because they're not as hardy. I'm gonna move here. Yeah. And flank with Yana and attack with a trident. Okay, you come stepping up the trident to fish command clutched it. Take it. Hand. Uh oh. thirteen. Uh no way. His his AC is a little better than thirteen. Um I will use spiritual weapon though. Um, I'll use it on. I'll yeah, use it on. Him. 14. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, Chompers man. appears. The oh, spectral oh, turtle. Welcome Go ahead. Welcome back to the legend. battlefield. Go ahead. Absolute Praise Clancy. Legend. Praise Clancy. 18 Praise force Clancy damage. Clancy indeed. For 18 points of force damage. Yeah. Chompers, the spectral turtle, appears and just cleaves into this dwarf's head. He staggers over sideways, oh. reaching for a glass rod in his belt. I think it shatters across the floor as he falls. Professor, you realizing quickly, like, oh, was this little guy going to cast lightning bolt at us? Uh, and he is dead. Rhea, that's your movement. That's your action. That's your bonus action. You got a little more movement. No, I don't have any more movement. That was 30 okay. feet. Okay. That brings us to Doc. You're up on 10. Great. Uh, I'm going to move up here uh, and ki kill. I mean, attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 11. Oh. Uh, 20. 
20 hit. For 11 slashing damage? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna attack again with my hasted action. 16. Hits. For 11 more, so 22. Yeah, Doc, like a blur, comes like racing up, the battle axe just like flashing, and there's suddenly just like blood across the clear glass of the empty cell that held Yana last time you were here. They're dead. Great. Yeah. Great. Wow. Excellent. Uh, and with that, uh, Waffle's going to fly over and attack this guy uh, with his tail. Uh, uh... Oh, are you kidding wow. me? Wow. <laughs> are you kidding That's me? Wild. Let's go. Get the 20s in the chat. Let's get some 20s going. Let's For 10 go. force damage. I'm freaking real. Uh, for 10 points of force damage. That guy is still up, though badly, badly, badly hurt. That is unfortunate, but okay. You get extra movement with haste? Was that all your movement? You get I double do get extra movement. movement. Um, so, yeah, I will come, like, harass this guy. Um, okay. He's about to go. Right, for yeah. No problem. No, it's okay. You step I'm in next to that guy. Up in his, up in his face. DM, yep. is it possible for me to make an utterance? What's the utterance? Absolutely. I think toward the last remaining one, I think the professor would just say, think wisely about your next move. My next move is surrendering. I surrender. I surrender. <laughs> I surrender. I work cheap. I surrender. You don't need to kill me. Where's Ockham? Uh, and I think he, like, turns as on five, you hear, like, flap, 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 the sounds of flip-flops on bare feet <laughs> as in the back of the room, appearing on the staircase leading down from above, the robed man bun figure. He's in flip-flops? Of <laughs> He is. He's in flip-flops. We've just, like, disturbed this guy in his home. Yeah. <laughs> so he's in flip-flops. He's in flip-flops. Oh he's wearing a robe. And there's very hastily this black and silver vest pulled over his robe. Clearly, like, the wrong way. It's like this formal vest over his, like, silken night robe. You know? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> he's, like, standing on the stairs. Did like, we get the jump? A little, like, bleary-eyed. I think he's, like, clutching, like, a bottle of wine in one hand that's sloshed out. There's, like, wine staining the whole sleeve of his kind what of, time like, of day pastel is? blue robe. Evening. Okay. <laughs> it's always you're... evening in space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think okay. he's just like... Oh, my God. You brought me back, my Yana. <laughs> No, dude, you're gonna die. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. I hate I'm here you to kill you so pal. much. I will now put all of you into my tiny aquarium viewing cubes, beep, beep, even beep, though beep, most beep, of you beep, are boring. Beep, beep. Stop doing that thing with your hands! I hate you, Changeling Girl! <laughs> I think, like, flap, 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 flap. We hear his flip flops as he runs down the stairs. What do you mean, Changeling? We're clearly human. <laughs> no! I think I'm an elf. flops patter as he races down the stairs up to, like, the side of this thing. Like, oh. Yeah, this is gonna. And this is the problem. Out <laughs> yeah. Comes the giant scorpion. Which will just roll some initiative here. That's Occam's movement. That's his action this round, which was not much. His bonus action. Um, let me get this sheet off of here so that you guys can't spy on me in the chat. Well, we won't. We won't. I think we won't spy. I him. know. I think his bonus action is going to be to cast. Oh, yeah, that is great choice. <laughs> Hey, thank you for the subscription, Pia. Woo -woo. Yes, Pia, thank you for the sub. I really appreciate it. Uh, he reaches into the fold of the little vest, and you see him pull out like a vial, like kink, and starts just like guzzling this potion. That's his bonus action. Uh, yeah, and he moves to here. That's his turn. Professor, you're up on 24. Uh, just as a reminder, who ended up with what potions? I don't remember now. Uh, someone, uh, Rhea had potion of flying. Rhea has flying. Yeah. Who took heroism? I don't know if anyone took heroism. I just assumed you had it, I think. 
Uh, right. Okay. Um, yes. Up, professor. Uh, the professor will, uh, bonus action, drink his own potion of heroism that he has upon him. I don't know if that's actually what, what Occam drunk, but that's what the professor is going to do. And, uh, crap. Uh, that's very far away. It's a big room, my friends. He's a hundred yep, feet away from room. you through tanks. There's a couple of tanks infamously missing from where the Umber Hulk was like smashing stuff around. This one is filled with water, so you could see through it. But like, there's huge koi fish kind of floating through this stuff. Uh, yeah, you, you like can see him through the glass, but he also still has cover. Okay, um, I think that. The professor will do something. Uh, goodness me. I think the professor, his only option is to double dash in order to get to basically here. Uh, and then... Mm -hmm. You even have he another uses... five feet you could squeeze out of that, Troy. I could, but I can't do anything after that. So okay. I'm going to use the cover of this as best I can. Uh, and then I will bonus action drink the Potion of Heroism, get my ten temporary hit points, and be under the effects of the Bless spell. Perfect. That's my turn. You come, like, racing up to this container, like, pressing yourself up against it, and I think inside you just see out of, like, this kind of rotting corpse on the ground this surge of, like, maggots that are, like, you know, the size of hot dogs <laughs> trying to, like, climb oh. up the side of the glass tank to get you as this no. knot of rot drubs are like just oh. desperately trying to get at you uh professor rich yes. i thought we had a deal sorry <laughs> uh you're oh up God. lux i think lux looks back at yana and says do the thing i'm trying to do Release the thing it. to be fair i only had one turn and i did a metric f ton of damage yes yeah, that is true. good job very good i'll do the um, thing next turn thank you um lux is going to um, is going to do yeah. Lux is gonna missy step and uh, appears. That was a good sound. That was a great one. Can I get that over? Recorded, Thank you. Please? And then we'll move. Oh, I keep clicking the dice roll instead of no. I keep doing that too. Um, fifteen feet. Boom. Okay. Occam. Oh, that's not cover. No, it's not. You step out from <laughs> around the tank and he looks down at you like, well, I could have stepped someplace a little bit better. Uh, yeah, you're <laughs> up. Uh, As we yeah. all know, in combat, you can't move until it's your turn. So <laughs> this is very important. <laughs> 20, 20, 21. 21. Fuck, oh, you can't shield that. Can he? Nope. Hits. And your little robes over there. Hey, don't make fun of 12. my robes. <laughs> <laughs> For 12 points of damage, yup. Uh, second shot. 22. Okay, you see it. Okay. Yup, 22 hits. Oops. For 11. But... For 12 and 11 is 23 altogether. Mm -hmm. You see the arrows sailing towards him, and they hit some seemingly invisible barrier in front of mm -hmm. him. You recall fighting him in the bowels of the rover that he had some type of ward that seemed to abjure him from some amount of damage. And so I think you watch like both arrows deflect as like these cracks kind of shimmer around this field he's got on himself. Lux, that's your movement, that's your bonus action, that's your action. That's uh, your turn. She's going to use the rest of her actual movement to move back uh, 10 feet. So okay. he didn't take any damage? Nope. Yeah, it's a bummer. I, I mean, I guess get rid of the shield, but, you know. The shield looks like it's cracking? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes like a certain amount of damage yep. before it disappears. He's yeah. kind of an abjurer. Um, so, Lux, that was your action. Bonus action. Yana goes on 18. Yana's going to move and dash to here 
racing up. They have to use their action to like get here. They come racing up to the edge of this tank. And I think you hear them like, um, my friend said that I should let the unicorn go. And I remember you were quite nice to them before we left last time. And what? Oh, oh. That's Giannis' turn. Ray, you're Uh-oh. up on 13. Oh, no. Damn it. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I'm scared. Rich did say it's not a unicorn. So well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay, uh, dashing. Yeah, for the folks out there in the chat. Yeah, here, let's like get some zoomed in shot. There we go. Here's the like big golden unicorn. Dashing, Raya. You're dashing through the snow. Oh, oh no. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, wow. One horned unicorn. Only on my birthday. Because uh, that's the first day it snows. It's Ray's birthday, can it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's very true. I believe it's four days. After four days. It is uh, four days after the first snowfall. That's right. Mm. Um, let me just quickly look at my. I don't think I have a ton I can do for my bun. I do have something, but I don't want to use it yet. So I think. That's my turn. Uh, bonus action? Uh, you dashed. Enough. Yeah, I don't really have this too far out of range. Oh, no, wait. It's sick. If I recast it. Oh, recast I'm going to recast Chompers. Amazing. So you recast Chompers as your bonus action. The spectral turtle appearing next to Occam. 15 is his armor class. That hits. For anyone tracking at home on the deep lore of the dragonfly, Ray's nice. birthday is five days after oh, the first somebody, snow. somebody <laughs> tracked it? Or you tracked it? Yeah. You had it in your I, notes. I've got... I have it in my notes. Took it in my notes. Mm-hmm. It's a good, good teammate right there. Uh, Chompers, the there. spectral turtle, smashes into this arcane ward uh, that he had kind of protecting him. And we watch it like... <laughs> It like cracks and just like shimmers falling around him as he's like, ah! Uh, and it hurts him a little bit. Ooh, yeah. nice. Can I ask, did Reginald get any sense that that arcane ward was created by the potion or in place before? Uh, ooh, you were ooh, there for not the even fight like last time, right? I was not. Oh, you weren't. Uh, really tough to say right it's like hard to say but um what exactly the potion might have done who knows but you've met other wizards with these kind of wards before okay. i was supposed to get the scorpion to go on 15 and oh, forgot yeah. to put it in the order so raya went on 13 the oh, scorpion ran right up to the should scorpion. have gone cool, 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 cool. on 15 i think it's gonna come like yeah kind of scurrying down at you raya uh this like massive you know eight-legged arachnid of a monstrosity comes like surging towards you uh it's gonna make three attacks it's horrible claw claw yeah oh it's hit uh 22 and a 20 so raya you take nine bludgeoning damage and then 13 that's 22 altogether and you're grappled did you say three attacks you said two attacks i did this is going to be the last one Dang. Jeez. wow the it. rolls this one's going to hurt raya i need a constitution oh, saving gosh. throw as it grabs you once with each pincer and then the tail comes arcing over its back hammering into you you make your saving throw oops Meaning you only take. Wow. Why is it not rolling? Okay. Let's just track it all here again one more time. Oh, so that's, yes. Uh, Great roll. 13, 22. It's 28 points of piercing damage. On that last altogether. attack? No, that's everything. The last attack's oh. just six piercing damage and six poison damage after you make your saving throw. Okay, let me... That was a bad round. Sorry, what's the total? Because yeah. I, I did the 34. First. Yeah, it's 34 altogether. All three of those attacks did 34 points of damage okay. in total. And I'm grappled. Yes. You got it. Doc, you're oh. up on 10. Okay. Uh, that changes things, mm -hmm. uh, which is fine. So Doc is going to run 60 feet because uh, she's hasted. Mm -hmm. uh, and... She's going to attack the scorpion. Mm -hmm. 
19 hits for 16 slashing yes, damage the uh, extra attack like smashes into this thing 23 hits for 15 slashing damage <sighs> that's 31 points of damage yep uh, I think she like goes to rear her battle axe again and quickly looks at Rhea uh, and kind of holds a hand out like uh, basically how 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 hurt is Rhea looking That's, right now? This was like Less about half. half, little more more than little more than half my damage or my HP, so I'm okay. Oh. Uh, okay, she's gonna swing again. She's gonna put that hand back yeah. in the axe. And swing it again. <laughs> High five. Um, yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Nineteen, 19. hits for another ten points of damage. It looks pretty effed up. You have like smashed into the carapace on its back badly. This like blood kind of like oozing out of the cracked shell. Uh, that's your three attacks. That's your action doc. That's it. Uh, yeah. So bonus action. Uh, I think Waffle's gonna quickly look to the dwarf oh, yeah. and like hold his tail up in this look of like, uh, you know, you gonna do anything? Uh, and then is gonna also run away. It does not take an attack of opportunity. He's just like, please, please let me live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, great. Uh, Waffle's going to run over here and attack the scorpion. Okay. Uh, 25. Yeah, it's amazing. For seven force Oh, damage. it is still up just barely as Waffle comes like surging up next to it, smashing down in with his little... Um, mechanical tail crunching carapace that's doc's turn that's waffle is that it yeah i think doc like yells back to the dwarf be like you should leave uh and that's yeah, it. yeah i think he's just like yeah i'm gonna leave but the door it's closed i'm just gonna lay down over here please don't kill me please <laughs> lay down in the corner <laughs> And he, like, lays down in, in, like, the fetal position behind this potted plant. And is just like, please, don't kill me, please. This is a horrible job. This is a horrible job. Uh, oh, poor guy. That's his yeah. turn. Occam, meanwhile, going on five is going to be like, mm, nope, he does not love what's happening here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he proceeds to, like, shift over a little bit behind this thing of glass. He then is going to cast... Right, right, right. Oh, yeah, I know what he's casting. This is a good spell. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, so... He proceeds to cast Big B's hand, and oh. this enormous, glimmering, spectral, purple hand uh, appears in the middle of like this aisle, and um, proceeds to kind of start like floating down towards you guys. Uh, let me double check. Actually, the range is 120 feet, so I think he's going to just like cast it here behind you where it's gonna like take a shot at you doc uh it's gonna like swing to punch you right okay at disadvantage uh no never mind waffles on he's expert. using his bonus action to do this 60 feet he's gonna use clenched fist make a melee spell attack so uh i'm just gonna use this ray of frost for the right attack roll shouldn't have the plus two on it that's a miss uh yep. yeah it like swings to like crush you and you like dart out of the way as this like huge hand smashes the stone underneath your feet cracks like running across it that is Occam's action that's his bonus action that was some of his movement that is his turn professor you're up on 24 I think the professor uh, sees this hand being created and attacking the hasted dock. And I think he will uh, step out from behind the glass uh, and say, I think not. And cast Dispel Magic upon Ooh. the hand. So it's a fifth level spell. Mm -hmm. I can only cast it at third level, yep. which means I do need to make an ability check. Uh, DC equal to 15. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, using my spell casting ability, 
which is, I think, just just a straight is what intelligence. I always just your intelligence, yep. right? Just a straight yeah. intelligence no check. Yep. Is bless add to that? Add it to that. Yeah, it's a check, not uh, not an attack. Oh. Okay. It just attacks I believe. and saves. Yeah, you're right. I believe so. Okay. So okay. this might be a poor choice. Uh, no, no, no. Well, got it. But no, it's you great. Got let me good check it. one more thing. It's almost a 50-50. That does not do... Nope, that's on attacks and saving throws. Okay, whatever. We're doing it. Uh, he's going to step yeah. forward and attempt to dispel the magic of the hand. Come on. <gasps> oh! oh! Pirates. At least it wasn't a close roll. You, like, conjuring your magic, Professor, you attempt to, like, just break the weaving of the spell holding this hand together to no avail. Uh, Occam's magic woven too strongly. You're unable to dispel this magic. I hate the double roll because you see the, the 12. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. I have regrets. Um... That's an expensive miss. Um, okay, okay. Uh, I have a bonus action. Uh, that bonus action involves uh, me uh, moving. Boy, are these cylinder? Are these like floor to ceiling cylinders? Is that what we're dealing with here? No, they're not all the way floor to ceiling. Though most of them are like at least ten feet tall. Some of them are a bit taller than that. Like some of them, like 15, 20 feet tall. But they're all like individual containers in here. The roof of this this room is about forty feet. It's huge. And can I see through this like blue liquid container? Yeah, it's all these huge koi fish that are almost as big as Ben swimming around with like these kind of underwater flowers in here. Okay, uh, then I will move up uh, and let's just see where I'm at relative to all the things. <sighs> I think that that is all I can do at the moment. That's okay. my turn. Professor, that's your turn, Lux. You are up on 18. Okay, question here. So, how tall are... Okay, what's what's your jump distance? I feel like I always, like, mess that up. Uh-huh. Isn't it, like, strength? Uh, it's equal to your strength. Yeah, if yeah, you have a 10-foot running start. Mm -hmm. And it always is subtracted yeah. from your, like, movement possibility. Mm -hmm. So you can't, like, go 30 feet and then jump. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Noted, noted. Okay. Okay. Hmm. You could jump up to three plus your strength modifier feet vertically with a 10 foot running start. Okay. Okie dokie. Um. Sorry, I'm like, a, that changes my. It's tough. This is a tricky fight in here with all these stupid containers in the way. Yeah. There is a basilisk in the like box in front of you, like <laughs> scrabbling at the That's glass. Don't let him get to that one. Mm. Um. Gosh. The wand of magic missiles. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. I just need mm -hmm. to see him, right? Mm -hmm. They're gonna hit him. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're magic yeah. missiles. Well, they're gonna hit that thing, but well, no, that's you gone. You would Chompers recognize. Got rid of it. <laughs> it's oh. gone. Gone. You would... Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would know it's a concentration spell, Big B saying. Yep. Oh uh, yeah. Um. Yeah. I think Lux pulls out the wand of magic missiles and lets loose. How many charges? Um. How many charges does it have? Seven. Sorry. It's got seven, and you can use however many, right? Mm -hmm. Gosh, I kind of just want to use mm -hmm. all. If he could shield them all. Sorry, um, am I, that's too maybe too meta game. No, I think it's probably if highly likely that Rich is going to use shield. I would imagine it shields happens. all seven. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's true. Um, that was a real emotional journey I just went on, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I got so excited. <laughs> Where you got really excited. I did. Do whatever I got you really want, Taylor. Do, do, do whatever Lux would do. That was a flashback. Do whatever Lux would do. 
to the you're talking Let's about. See. Yeah, you could use the missile, but you might shield all. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, that's. Do whatever. Yeah, do whatever you. Line of thought. Yeah. Um. Because if you hit, it's I mean, seven chances like at him break, breaking concentration. So like, yeah. Right. Um. Yeah, let's do three charges. Okay. Let's do three. You burn three charges off the magic missile. The bolts like streaking out of the tip of this thing as you're running with the bow. Uh, they go like screaming up over the tanks, and you can just kind of see them through all the glass and the creatures between you and Occam drop down in, pummeling into him. And as they come, he looks up like <laughs> and casts shield. Uh, yeah. And so, yep, that's one At first. At this point, spell. Reginald will reach out and say, "I think so." And cast counter spell on his shield. You son yes. of a bitch! Oh yeah, I'm I within sixty like, feet, and I can I see him. He like glares <laughs> at you as the three bolts come like hammering down into him. Roll a three d four plus three, Taylor. Three d four. That's that was great. Right. I've never thought about a counter spell. Of course, spell you counter spell everything. Yeah. Uh, so that's what. 12, 11, what? 11? Oh, bye-bye, Big B's hand. Nice work, too. And I think, I think, like, as he does this, I think, Reginald, you just hear him, like, tastes good. <laughs> At which point he gains a power surge from a successful counterspell. Hungry, <gasps> hungry, Gif Q. Uh, Lux, that's your action. You fire the magic missile. The professor saves your bacon. You have movement and yeah. a bonus action. What do you want to do? Uh, she has moved and bonus action. Um, yeah, uh, Hunter's Mark. Okay, you Boom. cast Hunter's Mark onto Sweet Occam. Okay, Occam glaring through the glass at you now, Professor, is like, um, you were not interesting to me, but now you will be the ire of my anger, Gift Q. Uh, he's pissed, Professor. He mm -hmm. did not like that. He's very unhappy with you. Hello. <laughs> He's going to cast Fireball at fourth level and hit all of you guys. <gasps> mm -hmm. That's like a. And the Scorpion? Mm -hmm. He doesn't fucking care about the Scorpion that much. Now it's out of the tank, it's definitely going to die. He's just a legendary, he just has a legendary action? Oh, no, it's not his turn. Oh, it's not his turn. Yeah, oh, I'm just making yeah. shit up. I'm like that angry, Grace. I've lost too many rounds of combat today. Ah! Uh, Lux, no, now you turn. have to be Yana and hurt yourself. Uh, that is Yana. I think like he's beginning to cast Fireball at you, Troy. Did I roll good? I even rolled good. What a shame. Uh, Yana, meanwhile, right. is like... Look. When when we win, you win. I love that it's yeah. at me, Troy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it can get literally everyone, and it's like, mm. yeah. yeah. Uh, All right, I, Yana, you're up. I, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I may <laughs> change my mind. You appears to be casting fireball. Yana is like staring up at this thing inside of the tank, and it's just like, um, well, all right, I guess this might work. And like puts the like medallion up against this thing, and you guys watch as like the whole like kind of side of this thing proceeds to like melt away. That's Yana's action. This thing will roll so initiative. Yana is just like staring at it, like um, and like turns looking back at you, Lux. Like you did tell me to let it go, didn't you? Yeah, it said it would help us last time, didn't it? Not People exactly. said lots of things, Lux. Uh, it's now got initiative. That was Yana's turn. Amazingly, it just goes <laughs> right now on 15.16. And so I think it steps out from back here. <laughs> and it is going to... Sorry, Kevin. Sorry, Kevin. Yeah, if you kill Yana when Kevin's not here, that's just bad juju. Yeah. Yeah. I don't do that. You look pretty effed up, right, Raya? Mm-hmm. Well, like, tw yeah, 23 of 57. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, it like turns looking at the lot of you and then it proceeds to turn and like reaches down and it grabs Yana by like the cuff of their collar and uh, Professor, make an arcana check. Oh goodness! I you can I make sure yeah make an arcana Someone check. Who is yep, good at yep, arcana? Yep, I'm sorry, make one. Go for it. Oh, eleven. That's fine. Mm-hmm. You guys both rolled twenty-seven. Mm-hmm. Neither of you know exactly what happens as it grabs Yana by the shirt, the like collar, <laughs> and the pair of them proceed to like fade away <laughs> out of like sight an apparent obvious presence in front of you. That's its turn. Is this Rich's way of not having to yeah, play the Yeah, smart. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, huh? Not bad. This very persnickety scorpion that you guys didn't let me kill by just making actions outside of my turn, I could have gotten rid of it for you, you guys. I could have. I tried. Yeah, that fireball would have killed fireball, me. Everyone. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. It's going to try to uh, crush poor Ray, yeah. I think. That's going to be a disadvantage. Ooh. Hey, both attacks. Waffle. So the first attack's a disadvantage. Just the, fir- just the first The second yeah. attack misses. Now That's the sting. Incredible. Nice. Nice. Rhea, you manage to uh, like bring the trident up, kind of hooking the scorpion tail and like pushing it away. Uh, you're wow. in good shape. Rhea, you're up on 13. Uh, I'm gonna stand. Or... Occam is back here screaming like, soon it will be my turn and I will fireball all of you. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you all. I'm gonna stab it with the, tr- the scorpion with the trident. 20. Yeah, that hits. I uh, love that David's the only person who knows what that thing is. Uh, uh, seven. That's one-handed. It's got it for seven points of damage. You drive the trident right down into this thing's many-eyed face, Rhea. Yeah. And it's like... <clears throat> its body like drops down. Yes. The claws like go limp. You're freed. You're no longer oh. grappled as it is dead. Okay, yes. and oh then goodness. I am going to move Chompers 20 feet, which is exactly there. <laughs> and he shouldn't have, he should have moved <laughs> farther than that. <laughs> uh, but that's fine. Uh, spiritual weapon. 24. Hits. Nine force damage. Yes, you cleave into Occam. Uh, Chompers doing work for another nine points of force damage. It bites into the back of the mage. Rhea, that's your action. That's your bonus action. You have some movement. Um, it's almost like I feel like there's an area effect tag. So I'm just yeah. going to move there. <laughs> um, like rock up. This is the plan. This is the new strategy. You get rich so mad. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> gives away. Be, like, so angry that I don't even know how to play D D anymore. Doc, you're up on ten. Yeah, I actually paid off all the sabotage to, from earlier yeah. to beat us so badly yeah. that you yeah. Legendary tactics, baby. Legendary tactics. Me tactics. off the yeah. face of the freaking planet. It worked, Melissa. Good job. Uh, okay, Doc is going to move up and hit. And can you remind me if uh, we can flank with spiritual no, weapon? You cannot flank with the spiritual weapon, unfortunately. You come charging okay. up, Doc. Uh, Occam, like, tucked around the corner of this What's container. What's up, Doc? Exactly. What's up, Doc? Um, and you see Yana here with this little hideous man bun. There is this spectral turtle that you know all too well. And inside of the container, there is a like feathered serpent that is kind of like fluttering at the edge of the container, looking down at me. Just like, no, 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 uh, uh-uh, uh, no. Um, you hear a voice in your mind, Doc, just like. Please set me free. Please. Oh, well. I think Doc is going to whisper back. I will, but I have to kill this guy first. I don't have the key. Okay. Okay, and then she's going to swing at Arkham. Uh... Arkham is so mad right now. Uh, That hits him. (laughs) For 11 slashing damage, she's going to do it again. Rich, we've had two months building oh, up no, to this. Not, not, not oh. yeah, not Very unfortunate. So that's seven more damage. Yep. 
Uh, she's gonna do it again. Oh! That is a crit, though. For 23 more damage. Let's go! Um, do you have any crazy yes. smites or anything else happening? Get add more damage to this after the fact? No, I should have, uh, you know, no, I don't have, like, cool paladin shit. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna... Re Reginald, like, looks over at Ray and is like, that's all, friend! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. I just, I, I'm like so tilted. Anybody who's watching the screen, I can't even answer the hit points correctly. I'm trying to we like get to a hundred. I got a 300, yeah. 400, 500. You got hit it. Points. I'm going to just type. Ready? Okay. Oh, 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 I can do it. One, zero, one, enter. There it is. I've done it. Doc, those are a bunch of your actions as you like step up to uh, to Occam. We love him. Wailing on this guy. You crit the hell out of him. Uh, that's your action. That's your hasted action. Bonus action. What else do we got? Uh, it's just going to be uh, Waffle is going to dash over here and like hang out, uh, but can't do anything because that's uh, it. It's more than 40 feet for him to okay. get there. So that's Got it. On his turn, he hates this. He hates this. He hates this very badly on his turn. First of all, he is going to... Ay, ay, ay. Okay. He reaches into his robe. He pulls out another potion, which he slams quickly. Let me just delete that. Meanwhile, the first potion has been entirely useful, useless, which is my favorite thing. Are you going to tell us what it was after yes. the fact? I'm just very Absolutely. curious. Absolutely, I will. This is gone. Those two things are consumed. He slams the potion and, like, looks at you, glare and gleaming in his eyes, like, you are not the only one who can move this fast, doctor. Uh, and so he now is moving hasted. That was his bonus action. For his action, he's going to cast Dimension Door. But before that, for his hasted action, he is going to raise his fist up towards you. And you see a ring flash. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, use an object. Uh. <sighs> I thought we could get away with it deeply obnoxious if it weren't for you kids and that mangy cobalt we would have gotten away with it too um, i'd be no, here for the what... wizard of oz remake where instead of toto it's just old man <laughs> oh my gosh we're on to see the wizard <laughs> i can't do a good man <laughs> okay he's gonna he's gonna dimension door first then the ring like the ring flashes doc you see this like glimmering white starlight on the diamond at the end of the silver ring on his fist he dimension doors as like this moat of shining light appears he's got a 400 foot dimension door so i think he's coming over here to the far side of the room um away from you doc i need a dexterity saving throw at advantage because of haste correct a 20 okay uh and so he is bursting one charge everything i need a uh, waffle all oh no that's not what yeah i need waffle also to make that deck saving throw it's gonna ask, yep. yeah as there is this like explosion of fire and starlight while like a shooting star arcs over the containers blasting down in next to you doc you take five points of fire and radiant damage waffle takes 10. That was his bonus action, his hasted action, his standard action. He still has movement, which actually, technically, he's going to stay here with this hideous monster. Uh, that was his turn. Professor, you're up. Uh. He's over now on the east side of the room next to this organ. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Rich. Waffle's hit points were, were incorrect, so he actually just gained two hit points. Of course points he did. Of that ten. little guy is a stud. You try to hurt <laughs> Waffle, he just gets stronger. Apparently. Oh, 
Uh, bear with me, please. No problem. You take your time. I'm juggling a lot of pieces myself. Mm. I don't even know when I'm supposed to go anymore, Troy. <laughs> I have not cast that many spells yet. Mm-hmm. I think that Reginald will move. Gosh. There's just not many good options on this turn. Mm -hmm. I can hit him with a thing, but he's not concentrating on anything. Nope, he's not. He's True story. not. He's got a little bit of cover where he is. So it'd have to be like a magic missile, which is just damage. I think I'm better served. Uh, can I just do a roll really quickly as Reginald? Just of course. To see his tactical. Um, uh, you know what he will do if he hasn't already? Um, you tell me, Dungeon Master. Uh, the Iune stones. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to put them above my head at this point. Oh, um, sure. I don't know if that's a thing that I guess I need to do as an action in uh, in combat. Uh, or is that an interact with an object? Or what do you want to do? Uh, let me just double check it real quick. If it says it's like an action as an action. Da -da -da -da. When you use an action to toss one of these stones in the air. So I think that like the split difference is you could throw more than one. You can activate more than one at a time. But it is your action. But it is my action. Yep. 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 Okay. Um... Goodness. Sorry, folks. Uh, there's two very useful things that could be done on this turn, and I'm not certain that I'm going to do either of them. Uh, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move. That's easy. Oh, to here. Then I will uh, use my action to reach into my pocket and squeeze my pearl of power regain a third level spell slot mm -hmm. and then i will use uh will i use my bonus action to misty step uh i will use my bonus action to misty step uh over here behind this area here that's it that's okay. my turn you misty step up against the side of this tank where inside of it this massive insect looking white carapace creature standing on a bed of ice presses it's like bulging eyes into the glass and you just hear this voice from the other side professor like release me release me Oh, one moment, please. I'm occupied at the moment, please. Thank you. I will send him to the Nine Hells with me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. And that was the professor's turn. I want uh, Occam to go now, but we learned last time he doesn't. So, Lux, <laughs> you're up instead. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> so, here's, here's what's... what's, what's uh... Wow, English. What's Here's going what's on happening. and what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> so Lex is going to use her moment to get over here. Um. All right. So here's the question. Occam has cover. Clearly. Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, if. Gosh. Because I'm thinking Lux can get up here. It's like I thought about this room with all these obnoxious tanks. Oh in yeah, and absolutely. You ranged nightmare yeah. combatants. Yeah. <laughs> if I get up here, is that going to help me? I if you get know. on top of the tank, he's still going to have a bit of cover from this one. Like I'm not trying to be cheap on you. No, here, no, right? no. It's yeah. Because like, of like that, the that angle. If you got on top of this tank, you would be in good shape, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um. Gosh. 
gosh. I feel like either I'm going to stand here or I'm just going to take shots at him. So I'm just going to take shots at him. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to happen right now. Okay. Um, bonus action planar warrior. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm just going to try. 25. 25. Even with his cover, uh, what's he got? He's got half cover. Uh, that's a miss. I mean, that's a hit. Yep. Love to see it. All right. And we've got Hunter's Mark and Planar Warrior. Okay. What's the total of damage? Is that 20? Okay. Got it. 20. Uh, second shot. That's gonna miss. God, that's gonna miss. That's only still plus two. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, second one okay. misses. Got it. Yep, first one for 20 points of damage. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, Lux, that's your movement. That's your action. At this point on 15, suddenly, impossibly, uh, you guys see something like materializing out of like the ether from behind this guy as um, there's like this glimmering golden light and the like crazy unicorn reappears with Yana on its back. Uh, and let's see what they can do. Uh, oh, Yana oh. riding a unicorn type thing. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Um, poor, poor, poor Kevin. Uh, I love the idea that they planar shifted just so that Yana could hop on their back. Yeah. That, that makes yes. sense. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. They had to charge through the ethereal plane. Uh, it proceeds Incredible. to rear up. I am going to shut its name off in chat. Yep, let's hide that. Oh, wow. So you guys don't All good. Need to know All good. What that is. It rears up with hoof, hoof coming down mm -hmm. with the horn while simultaneously Yana's just going to pop off. I think that they're going, uh, yeah, they still have their shield out, so one-handed with the longsword. Here's a ton of attacks that I just made at this freaking guy. Can't shield that. Can't shield that. That's a miss. That's a miss. Yana does nothing. This thing hits it for 28 points of damage. Uh, as Yana's like, this is amazing! Uh... <laughs> 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 he looks, yeah, I'm not looking good now. He is badly, badly, badly hurt. Uh, the scorpion is dead. Ray, you're up on 13. That totally changed what I was going to do, but it's okay. <laughs> um, uh, I think I'm just going to dash. Not what else I can do. I'm sorry, Grace. <laughs> I got you working for it in here. That's that's it. Um, uh, my bonus action. Actually, I would have done this on the way. I think like as soon as my turn my turn started. Actually, sorry. I would mm -hmm. bonus action um, use uh, furball magic, uh, a hidden step, I believe. Uh, so I will be mm -hmm. invisible uh, until the start of my next turn. Oh, nice. Yep. So you just like vanish and start pounding across the room towards this thing. Yeah, right? you can probably see me, but that's fine. that's fine. Okay, uh, Doc, you are up on 10. Yeah, I am going to, uh, also just dash over, uh, and I can't even get all the way there, but I can get most of the way there. Uh, and Waffle is flying, so how much out of the 80 feet of movement for him to move you can just go straight should lines. i he can fly over the container i should yeah, just that's fine that's okay fine. no Thank trigonometry for... in fifth edition great uh he's not he also can't get there but it's just like how close can mm -hmm. he get so mm -hmm. uh he's gonna fly all the way over here uh yeah uh, and now he's going to dimension door back to where we were, which is going to be very annoying. So, um, yeah, that would suck that's my turn. Did that again. Okay, he goes on five. He's going to use his hasted action. He slaps the like medallion against this thing, oh. and what you see is this massive three-legged, like warty fleshed red kind of monstrosity just come like lumbering out of the container as it opens. Uh, Realistically, I guess it will come here. 
Uh, it is a very monstrous looking kind of entity. It won't be able to go till it makes its initiative. That's his hasted action. For his bonus action, he pounds a potion. Another yeah, this, guy. this guy's got a lot of stuff. Oh, ho, 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 you suck, Occam. If he gets 10 <laughs> hit points back. <laughs> That was his oh, bonus man, action, a... which would have been much better spent Misty stepping away from the Nightmare Paladin on a strange unicorn-type creature. And then, for his actual action, I think he, like, wheels at the thing that Yana is on top of. Oh, God, he has to, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. He's going to cast a fireball that will hit uh, all three of you guys. So I need Doc to make a saving throw. It's just going to hit Doc, Yana, and this creature. Uh, Dex save, yes. right? Okay, at advantage yes. for the beast. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. This thing has freaking magic resistance. Uh, yup, so it makes it. Yana uh, has like an aura of protection. Which is going to add plus three to this. 22. Everybody makes it. All of you guys are the coolest people ever. Uh, to that end, he's going to pop off a really high level fireball. Because why wouldn't he? He does not have much longer for this world, I don't think. 34 points of damage reduced to 17 for all of you. Okay. I thought that was coming our way. I was like, I moved. I know, me now. too. Yeah. Yeah, I could have made better choices here. Occam might be smarter than I am, but today he is not. Um, he was drinking wine in his jammies. I know, he was drinking yeah, wine in his jammies. He, he, drunk. Yeah, he is a big drunk. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That. Yeah, he should be rolling at disadvantage. It's Occam's <laughs> turn. He's still got movement, and I think he's just got to run and take the attack of opportunity from Yana and the strange unicorn-type entity. And the monster thing, right? No, that thing is his bro. What? <laughs> the thing that he's held in captivity for however long is his bro? 21 hits. That's 16 points of damage to Occam as mm -hmm. he runs. He does have plus two uh, to his AC because of haste, in case that matters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does. Yep, it does matter. Uh, where did I go here with my monster? Gosh, where'd you go? Um, for, yeah, those of you curious what the thing looks like that just came out of the tank, it looks like this, I guess. I, I think I know what it is. I think you know what it is. I think you know what it is. But uh, here's half the information. Definitely doesn't. Yeah, no, it is uh, oh. yeah, this big, oh. like, squat-looking, uh, elemental-type monstrosity. And sure, yeah, uh, for shits and giggles. It likes to eat gems. Yeah, it missed as it swings at Occam, and he runs 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 here. He's just, like, running from you guys, like, um, going for the gelatinous cube. Professor, you're up on 24. Uh, sorry, where did he go? He ran over there. Yep, now he's over here. Bottom right. Yeah. Goodness me, goodness me. Um, uh, this changes things. I think I think the professor looks over his shoulder and just says, "Do we do this?" Okay, uh, I think he will run around. He will, yet again, bonus action, Misty Step through the uh, vats there. And he will cast... He will cast a Chromatic Orb at second level. He casts Counterspell. I will attempt to Counterspell the Counterspell. 
Okay, there it is. I think that, like, you, like, raise up the decoder. He's, like, and, like, screams out a word, beginning to, like, cut the magic, and you call your, like, word of arcane power, severing his, canceling out these two spells. The chromatic orb fires off. Go for it. Uh... So wrong here reaction. We go. Wrong reaction, Occam, you douchebag. You should have cast shield. Shield, yeah, you could have should have cast shield. Well, we'll and, see how uh, this roll goes. <sighs> oh. You know what's really funny? He could have shielded that. Oh. Uh, it, <laughs> 14 points of damage. What kind of damage? Uh it would be I think I have no reason of knowing except that he did just cast fireball. So I will cast Thunder Damage. Excellent. It does the full amount of damage for 14 points of damage, bringing him to a total of 169 hit points. He looks pretty rough. Mm. Boom! As we hear this peal of thunder uh, from the Chromatic Orb. Professor, that was your action. That was your reaction for Counterspell. That was your movement. Bonus action, did you use it? You missed, he stepped. I did. I just want to check one more thing. Mm -hmm. I would then uh, like to squeeze my hand around my um, decoder wheel. And once per turn, when I deal damage to a creature, I can use my power surge to deal extra force damage to that creature. Unlocking my war magic ability, uh, and with DM's discretion, we'll use all three of the gained power surges in order to deal an initial an additional nine force damage. We on did Occam. discuss this. We're totally cool to let you burn all the charges at once. An additional nine points of force damage will bring him to a total of 178, Professor. He's still up, but man, just barely. He's like tenaciously clinging to it. That's your turn, Reginald? Everything I have. Lux, you're up on 18. Yeah. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, Lux is going to... Uh, how tall is this, like, glass case up here? That one is only 10 feet. Is it feasible to, like, just hop up on there? Like, leap up and pull herself up? Uh, I think it's going to require a check because it's, it's so smooth. You know what I mean? Like, you're sure. climbing on, like, a smooth wall of force. So, like, it's very feasible, but it'll need a check. Acrobatics or athletics, I don't care. Uh, okay, let's do... That's <laughs> so funny. I'm proficient in athletics, but uh, that's only plus four in my acrobatics, which I'm not proficient in, is plus five. <laughs> so we'll go with acrobatics. Yeah, my monk is the same way. Yeah. 22. Vask is the same way. 22, you're good. You can come running up here, grabbing, oops, grabbing on, like, you know, you tuck down and, like, jump, your feet catching the edge, scrabbling up the smooth side of this thing, and yeah, boom, you're up here on the top. Bonus action, Misty Step, um, to, I guess, this guy here. Okay. Get a better angle on him. Okay. Two shots. Go for it. Twenty-five. Fuck. He can only get twenty-four. Yeah, that hits. He can't shield it. Eleven plus. Plus. 13. And total. and anything else? No? Is that nope. it? Nope. That's it. Okay, second attack. Yep. 20. Hit. Oh, wait, no, he shields. He can okay. shield. He that. used his reaction he... to counter yes, spell thank my you. chromatic orb. Thank you. Uh, I've been through so many reactions today, Troy. He definitely he does not shield. Earlier. That hits roll damage with the hunter's mark. That's another 10, ten points of damage. Yeah. Bring him to a total of 201. 
points of damage. Lux, you fire the first arrow. I think it catches him just around the edge of the wall. And he, like, winces, crying out as he staggers back away from the glass, looking up at you. He points his fist. You see, like, the glimmering white-hot light at the end of the ring. You shoot again. The second arrow takes him in the eye. And I think he's just, like, standing there, like... I will have my Yana back. Boom! And he just like falls back. Yes. Forward, uh, immovable, immoving, dead, seemingly. Lux, that's your action. That's your bonus action. That was your movement. Is that your turn? That's everything, yeah. Right. Yana, I think, is like, um, right. Well, uh, do, I mean, do we kill this thing? He's looking at you, Doc. What are we doing with this one? Shove it. <laughs> yeah, it Push it. Bad. Kill back the in, thing. We'll lock it up. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kick just, it. Yana has a thing. Um, uh, sh- creature, please. Huff it. And Huff so it. I <laughs> think that you, got, Huff it. you guys hear this voice <laughs> emanating. It sounds almost like music, kind of like echoing through the space, right? As you are just like, um, uh, this voice just like to all of you. I knew that I would see you all again. Uh, yeah. I'm just looking for one thing here. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. No, no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. One second. I'm just reading. Uh, that's not a humanoid. Okay, it can't, it doesn't have any cool magic to, like, make a really dramatic moment here. So it's just going to try uh, to, like, make an athletics check with help from Yana to push this thing back into the chamber. Oh. oh, 15. 15 is not like garbage. Oh, oh. 16. Oh, oh, no. It doesn't have disadvantage it's... from its master. Just make... <laughs> no, I definitely hated that guy. Rhea, you're up on 13 if you want to do anything here. Yana and like this strange unicorn creature are trying to like drive this uh, Zorn back into the tank failing it's like like looking like between them and doc like seemingly kind of crazed and monstrous um, um, i really don't have anything um i know it's tough i'll just dash to here i really don't have anything I okay. pop up. I'm like not invisible. Yep. Uh, Rhea appears charging forward. Doc, you're up. This thing is like uh, like slathering all over the place. The three arms like kind of like grasping and grabbing at you at the thing in front of it at Yana. What do you want to do? Uh, I... You could try to push I'm it not... around if you want to. You're very I... strong. No, I think I'm going to yeah, hit it. That's... Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah. 23 hits for 12 uh again 14 hits for 15 i lied 14 is a miss uh so the 12 hits uh second attack missed last one 26 for 16 got it that's 28 points of damage doc you're like heaving down into this thing with the battle axe uh like cleaving into its kind of like stony flesh uh can i like shift over to the other side of it sure uh, you can step through the front of the space. space of the yeah yep. yeah okay waffle's gonna come over here and hit it uh uh I just realized that Waffle has better athletics than Doc yeah, does, uh, and that is like weird. Got beastly stats. Dude. Yeah. Do you know what? Waffle's gonna try to shove. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh Waffle goodness. comes like zooming you know, down and starts like wa- hammering at it. Yeah. Oh my god! And then oh. rolled terribly. Uh, okay. Well, that's probably. Not oh. Yeah. Oh. Ah! Are you kidding? Me? Waffle legend. <laughs> Point. Just a legend. <laughs> Just like poking him in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does the like dink and it's off balance. Like, 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 yeah, exactly. Man, yeah. Just to, like tip him off balance into yeah. things. Uh, you know, Waffle's a, a merciful wow. little guy. He's, he's, wow. he's uh, more of a people person than Doc Professor, is. So. You're up if there's anything you want to do here. 
Yes, the professor. Uh, first of all, do they like latch the door closed on this thing? Uh, they're waiting for Yana, who has like the locking mechanism. Like Yana's like, kind of leaning off the side of this giant horse thing. I think the professor would rush over to the body of uh, our dearly departed and make sure that it is in fact our dearly departed and anything else that he could surmise from this body. You like come racing over and like grab him and pull it up. He's not melting into liquid. And I think his eyes flutter open as he looks at you. And it's just like, I just wanted to preserve the rarest things of this realm. All except goodness. I think uh, Professor lets him die. Drop him back down to the floor as uh, he bleeds slowly to death. Three object interaction. Uh Pluck uh, whatever ring, uh, in particular whatever was being used to open up uh, cages and such off of him. Yeah, he has like in his one, he's got a bunch of rings on, but his one hand there is like a silver chain kind of wrapped around his hand with a medallion at the bottom of it. And it just has almost this like infinity symbol on it, right? So you like pull it out of his hand. Uh, Yes, I will take the medallion of power. You got it. The medallion of power is yours. Uh, Lux, do you have any fire tokens you want to spend? I mean, it's your turn. Is there anything (laughs) you'd like to do? (laughs) I think, uh, Lux probably like uh, just hops over like to this next cage or whatever and is like just like keeping an eye on Occam's body and like simultaneously keeping an eye on like just everything like as with her bow ready. You got case. it. As you jump onto this cage, I think that from the cage that you jumped away from, this gleaming emerald light inside of it, you just hear like, I will make you burn. And a fireball goes off inside the like ten foot square. <laughs> it's like the little flame skull is like trying to nuke you. And in the box that you're standing on, there, of course that's what yeah, that is. There's this yeah. really beautiful like blue like flower underneath it. And the second you land on top of this thing, tendrils like shoot up and start like trying to like they're like grabbing oh, and flapping God. at the edges of like the forest plane, trying to get a hold of you and uh, drag you down to be eaten but you can't be you're protected at this point yana goes like leaning off the side of this creature it is like um you're really quite an incredible being i'm was very scared about letting you go there but the telepathy was really encouraging uh just a little front thank you thank you and he touches like the side of the panel is like the force wall kind of rematerializes trapping the zorn back inside this container and i think with that We'll drop out of initiative. <laughs> you all are hurt badly. I ain't got a scratch on me. I mean, like, not that badly. Yeah, just I can just feel myself. Um, you, you can. I think it like sings this clarion call, like echoes <gasps> through the space. And Ray, you get eight. Everybody wow. gets eighteen hit points back. Wow. What's your name? Yeah, I think Doc talked to it last time, uh, and it's just kind of like, so, what are you? You do not know? You have not met a uh, thing as me before? No. no. I am not a unicorn. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. I don't really know the technical name. Um... I am called Ulfian. I am a Kirin. Cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that means, but that's doesn't great. Doesn't answer a lot no, of questions, yeah. but I'm glad I know the proper name now. Where are you from? You... Can I just yeah, go can ahead. I just briefly yeah. say that Reginald is gonna like go back toward the door where that dwarf was and mm. just make sure that he has either exited himself out of the area or... Uh, oh, no. Is... As you come, like, walking up, he's in the fetal position underneath the flower pot. Like, I always hated this job. I always hated this job. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh! Are you going to kill me now? Do you want me to sweep up the blood? 
Use this as a sign to consider a career change. Go. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna take some of these grapes while I go. Is that okay? Oh, <laughs> and then I think he like runs for the door with the bowl of grapes under his arm. Like, um, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And he throws the door open. I think we hear the like gold scepter clang, clang, clatter onto the floor as he throws the double door open and starts racing in the street. Like, Occam is dead. Occam is dead. Oh, okay. Occam is dead. We're free. We're Wait. free. We should follow him out. Okay, we should follow him out. Follow him out to the Rapes front. for everybody. Oh, Occam's body Rapes. though. We need all this. No, we're going to make a rousing speech and talk about how they're liberated. I made a mistake, friends. <laughs> <laughs> they all know uh, this guy's bad. Who, who did he have? He had nobody. His best friend uh, is dead over there. Yeah, is the is the is the non unicorn unicorn like still trying to talk to them, or have I just yeah, messed yeah, yeah. all of that up? Yeah, it's totally still talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I think it's just like uh, I am called Mufia. Other realms than these the celestial planes. We sent someone to a celestial plane once. Would you like do that. to see one? To find them? Uh, uh, ooh. Maybe sometime. You guess I want to go see now? That, uh, I have spent a long time waiting to feel the grass of the arboreal highlands on my hooves again. You can just go, you can just teleport yourself there. I can take us like... all there. Could, Maybe like him. Dude, give me one second. I'm going to like run to the door and see <laughs> what it looks like outside. <laughs> That's what, like, yeah. The also, out. can I help? Lux, like, search Occam's yeah. body if there's, like, other sure, things. Sure, sure, sure. Rhea, you bed. come, like, running to the door as the professor is, like, turning and looking back. You see Rhea oh. come racing up and this one little Darrow dwarf is, like, running through, like, out of the courtyard, throwing grapes like a flower girl over his shoulder, like, Occam is dead! Occam is dead! Grapes for all! Uh, and I think that you just see people turning and looking at him, like, is he drunk? He must be drunk. Occam, he can't be dead. That's ridiculous. Occam is dead. What? Uh, and there's like a couple people kind of like responding to that as a pair of you standing here. Uh, uh, Lux and Doc, as you come running over to like search Occam, he's in this night robe with his little flippy flops. He's got this vest on. There's a couple potions like rattling around in one pocket. A few really oh, fancy yeah. looking ro uh, rings on this one hand. And uh, like a tuft of spell scrolls stuffed in another pocket. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we we're take... just. Make sure you get the, the rings. Backpack. Yeah. Yeah. Not forgetting yeah, yeah. anything. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I, also, so, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, I think, like, Doc's thing is, like, so all of these things are trapped here, which sucks because, like, releasing them, they will probably attack us. But also, like, leaving them trapped here also feels bad. Uh, you would see them all freed. Why did you come back that, here? Because Occam's a bad uh, guy. Yeah, because Occam was keeping things in cages that weren't, you know, we only got Yana and the plant last time. That's. And Sharp Jumper. Truly the but only there were, like, more <gasps> things. Oh my goodness. And I think, re like, Reginald will, like, reach down and pull out the sending mm. stone. Oh, yeah. Yes, okay, ben, Lux is going to say. <laughs> ben, 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 are you okay? Uh, what, what, uh, status report. Yeah, we should be there any minute. Uh, I see a fortress. Down at whoa! I I see a fortress out of the wait, Badman, Badman. I don't think he opened the door. He just opened the door, Professor. Uh, I, oh, sorry. This thing keeps cutting me off with twenty-five words. It's really hard to gain. Oh, he just jumped out of the ship. The bad. The bad oh, oh, good, good. The bad man just jumped out of the ship. Do I see wait, this? Where? I'm at the door. <laughs> like Ray, you look up in the sky, and you just see like the dragon. 
Jack comes like <laughs> racing over the top of the Aether <laughs> station, like sideways, and out of the back you see it like. Ksh, ksh, ksh. <laughs> Plant. Yes! Right. <laughs> yes! This this robot crab that is the apparatus of hogs <laughs> <laughs> like plummeting out of the sky for the Aether Station. A Darrow runs through the streets, raining grapes behind him, screaming, Occam is dead! And I think you just hear Yana like, Honestly, I'd quite like to see these celestial realms if we're not too busy here. And I don't know if I'm being presumptuous, but I think that's where we leave our adventures. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the apparatus yes. is <laughs> well, the bad no. men. And you're all like, we'd like to go to the celestial plane, please. <laughs> um, we have some work I to do. <laughs> I, I, this is like pure royal and chaos, but also like I could just see the like fade to credits at the end of the episode in the midst of like royal and chaos. You know what I mean? Um, I think that that's the end of season one of Dragonfly. Wow. I think that that's it. We did it, yeah. yeah. We did it. Yeah. Huzzah! Dead. Huzzah! Um, I hope was that was fun, you guys. Was that fun? I'm not asking if it was fun. I, I, I had fun. That was fun. <laughs> it was fun, Rich. <laughs> I had fun. Um, I hope that was like an exciting fight and kind of interesting. Yeah, you did it. You did it. Yeah, you did, did it. it. Oh, I loved it. Uh, as a fellow DM to another, sorry for dispelling and counterspelling all your things. No, but, no. Uh, it's what I do. What I lose. Someone who loves rules, sorry for uh, <laughs> saying that you couldn't take a turn not on your turn. Yeah, it went on, it was not my turn. Yeah. Um, that would have been so good. You almost got away with it. You I, did you... almost get away with it. We were all gone for the ride. I, that's the yeah, thing we as a dungeon like, okay, master. I guess he does you that, just like that. say things like decisively and the yeah. players are like, okay. <laughs> you know, sure. Yeah, I guess he has legendary actions. That's fine. Um, I like really debated the legendary actions this afternoon. I was having fun with like the Occam stuff. It was a long time coming to get back here. He was like pretty powerful, but not like the most badass. But he had a lot of toys, and putting him in that room was like a really fun space to play with, right? Um, like I was very much like, I don't know if they're gonna let the key ring go, which like. David knows what that thing is, and it's kind of interesting. So we'll see what happens here. I think we're going to have some conversations probably. And when we pick back up for uh, like season two, episode one of Dragonfly, we'll see what the new status quo is. Certainly, we won't pick back up right at this instant. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to like reset, give ourselves a little bit of time to breathe, talk about kind of what happens in the aftermath of all of this. Um, yeah. And yeah, on a different we have magic some items. like people who <laughs> yeah there might be some shuffling amidst the dragonfly and between the rover and the aether station and lots of options on the table yep. so it'll be really we, exciting we got personnel to move around you got multiple ships you got all kinds of like new relationships and options of where to go uh yeah yep. the up and coming yeah. tam fey guilds mm -hmm. <laughs> New headquarters, Aether Station. New headquarters. 101 Space Lane. Zip code zero zero zeros. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So that was wild, you guys. It was a long time coming. When we stopped at the Aether Station all those months ago in like September, I really did not think it was going to be like months worth of like this extended kind of embroiled thing. Yeah. I did know that I was going to deploy Kevin's character as a prisoner of that place, so I don't know what I thought would happen. But this has turned into like a very like uh, extended back and forth with this guy, and yeah, I hope it's been like fun and interesting the last couple Amazing. of months. Right. Like, I've enjoyed it, you know. Yeah. Can I just say? That plan went off without a hitch. Well, that's pretty good. Flawlessly. Pretty good plan. Yeah. yeah. Who would have thought? That's because it was thought? just convoluted enough that I was like, I can't make it harder. You know, like, let's roll. Let's good roll up. with the punch. It was a good plan. It was definitely a fun plan. You had the right stuff in play. You managed to make a couple of solid rolls. I've thought a lot about, like, the nature of space and the way that they kind of treat shipwrecks. And probably it's like, yeah, all right, just get on. Where are you trying to go? Like, we can get rid of you once we get there, right? All right, get on the ship. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to leave your people out here? <laughs> yeah, sure. Good luck. <laughs> so how do we get in touch with the rover now? That's a great question. <laughs> we just got to fly out to I mean, it. That seemed to be going on. We didn't the tell part them. of the plan you didn't consider. Yeah. 
Oh no, we did tell them like the yeah. plan was for them to follow us mm-hmm. in yeah. like a, a little while out. Right, yeah, right. they were kind we of did, our we like did backup tell us that. Yes, because they and were going to distract. Watched. We were going to come with the dragonfly. So, very, so. very interesting uh, session of D and D. Um, I don't know exactly what I expected tonight, but it was fun. It was a good session. I enjoyed that. For sure. Yeah. I know you maybe had a hard time, Rich, going from earlier today and then losing this fight. That was very cathartic for me to do that much damage. I very much appreciated that. Uh, You guys are... (laughs) Just being like, oh yeah, I'm going to do 30 damage in one turn and nothing is going to happen to that. It's just going to happen. You guys are really tough. Uh, and while you're only six level adventurers, you're a pretty mean little group of adventurers so far. Uh, like just the four of you are like a real like hit squad. You know, you're like a little wrecking ball crashing into all of like my NPCs. Um, Wait, do we not level up because we defeated Occam? Probably not. We know, leveled up pretty <laughs> recently. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it a lot. Right. I think probably Marissa. you will level up, but we'll talk offline. Uh, but probably we yeah, could come so back good. for seventh level. I don't want to level. I was like, that has to be a milestone, yeah, right? It is. Right. I don't want to level you up too fast because then I have to. Uh, like, sooner you level up, the sooner Dragonfly ends. And in my mind, like, we can oh, play forever. That's true. Uh, I mean, you got a long time <laughs> to level twenty. In what are you space, talking about? It's yeah. always evening. It's always Tuesday evening. Yep. Right. Yep. 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 That's yep. true. Um, wild, you guys. Very wild. Uh, thoughts, feelings, last like emotions. Anything you want to like unpack before we part ways? I just want to say that uh, when we started this dragonfly journey, it was a notion in the mind of one DM Philly, and he said, "Hop on board." Uh, you don't necessarily need to be here every week. We might have a rotating cast, uh, and. I think uh, it, it has exceeded my expectations in terms of like the level of fun and creativity, and it's just like a totally different flavor of playing D and D that I've thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, it's a delight to play with you all and to play with you, Rich. So thank you, uh, and I look forward to seeing like what new normal looks like in season two. Um, well said we were Taylor and I played our home game with a buddy of ours last night and he was like I just want to say I like loved uh, Titans airs I have fun watching like Kings of Neon humble it is super adorable but whenever I turn on Dragonfly you guys are just like all laughing so hard it's just so fun he was like it's hilarious and even if like I don't really know what's going on the second I turn it on it's clear like you're all having such a good time that it's like really a good time to watch and I was like yeah like it feels like a Saturday morning cartoon and he was like a hundred percent yeah that's yeah. a great yeah. way to describe it it does uh yeah. I've like had a treat with this game this year like I've run a lot of D&D this year you know and like we all have become good friends hanging out like DMing together in our space but like when I was like oh D&D in space I don't know what exactly I expected what we've got was not what I was planning but um it's been delightful it's been like an absolute treat and to the folks who like show up and hang out with us every week like for real uh it's so appreciated you know like i don't i I probably can speak for the rest of these guys but when i speak for myself just saying like this year has been a lot like 2021 is like a huge transition for me coming into the space full time and um like having you guys here every week and people that like follow along and are like talking about dragonfly the next day and like docs and the waffles and the reggies and the reyes and the luxes of it all like it really means a lot to me personally um thank you and thank you to you guys for like dedicating your time to all of this because like it, it has been a real treat yep that's like yeah. hey. that's my two it's cents fun. uh taylor what's going on with you in the world what should we be paying attention to as we're closing out 2021 here anything you want to point people's uh you know eyes ears faces at gosh uh nothing in particular i'm here most of the time true um and, uh, yeah, I guess, you know, it's Christmas for us in, like, a few days here. And, like, you know, be nice to each other. Like, hopefully, you know, most of y'all can see your families. Uh, like, this week has been so crappy. And just, like, you know, be nice to each other. And just, you know, it's been a rough year for a lot of people. So just, yeah, and everybody enjoy yourselves. You know, take the time and, you know, do your thing. Don't stress. 
it's that time of year. Well said. Very fair. Troy, how about you? Uh, you're saying nice yeah. things about us. Is there anything else you would like to say to our friends on the internet before we part? Uh, yeah, to follow up on what Taylor said, it's the time of year where like family can be stressful or family can be a relief. Sometimes they're both. Uh, and sometimes you're not with family. And that's that's fine, too. That's great, too. Do whatever you got to do to like decompress from this year and give yourself a clean start for 2022. It's coming whether we like it or not. Yeah, true. Uh, I will also draw your attention uh, since last we played uh there were a series of catastrophic tornadoes that hit my home state of kentucky where i am right now uh, about an hour west of me and if you feel so inclined uh you can google kentucky tornado relief and there is a fund that is set up uh, by the state government that is providing direct relief to people impacted. Uh, there are a lot of things that FEMA and Federal Relief can provide, the Red Cross can provide, uh, but there are limits uh, all the way down to things like uh, funeral expenses and other things like that, that um, the state is able to step in through a very generous outpouring of support. So uh, I'm wearing my Kentucky uh, Lego building block shirt uh, if you feel so inspired to give in this giving season, we'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, otherwise, if you are the thoughts and prayers type of person, please keep those people in your thoughts and prayers because it is a long, long road back to rebuilding. But they're going to get there. We're going to get through it. We're going to get through it together. And uh, so maintain hope as we come into 2022. Yeah, I have a couple other people out in that part of the world and like send it all like my thoughts and prayers that way to be sure like you know, it's been harrowing and especially like this time of year coming in the winter. It's like brutal. It's never a good time for a disaster. But like, hell, man, it, it hurts uh, feeling it for you and your compatriots down there. Thank you for that link, Mike. I just was like fumbling around looking for one. Um, Grace. How about you? Yeah, You're so, super busy doing a ton of stuff. Now I'm going to promote my own stuff. Yeah, so, please. Uh, promote. That's okay. okay. It's fine. Uh, I'm on Twitter at from, Hi From Grace, doing a lot of stuff over on Post Show Recaps. Um, Mondays, we just wrapped up our Succession uh, coverage. Um, season 3 was really great. There might be some more stuff coming from Josh, Jess, and I, so keep a look at on that. Um, I will be covering uh, another Sunday night show, Euphoria, uh, HBO show, Zendaya. Uh, it's great. It's really good covering that with Amon. Those episodes will drop on Monday. Mondays after the episode airs. There'll be a couple preview shows coming up. Doing lots of movie coverage. The Matrix comes out this week. Covered West Side Story last week with Melissa. Um, yeah. Um, I think that's it. On Twitter. And I from Grace. Yeah. Yeah. Go follow Grace. She's doing a ton of fun stuff. Uh, it's all very good. Melissa, how about you? It's been a huge day of D&D for us. Uh, what else do you do besides play D&D all day with me? Uh, oh gosh, not much else. Uh, <laughs> Melissa W28 on Twitter. Uh, I podcast for Pusher Recaps for YA. Uh, we're going to be covering starting the Maze Runner series, if that's your jam. So patreon.com slash Pusher Recaps. Five bucks a month gets you access to the podcast. Uh, Ten bucks a month gets you access to come play D&D with us, uh, which is a great time. Highly recommend. Uh, otherwise, uh, I hang out here doing... Uh, Humble year type stuff. Uh, D and D over on Sabotage the DM. They are awesome. Uh, Rich, I feel like you have things to talk about, so you know, just want to like encourage you to talk about sure, your things. Sure, I have a bunch mm -hmm. of things that I could talk about. I, too, yeah. podcast at Post Show Recaps. We're just finishing up our coverage of The Wheel of Time. The final episode will be coming out on Christmas Eve. I am delighted about that. It's been an absolute joy uh, to like, get to talk to like folks out there on the internet about like my passion for it, to get to talk to Josh every week. We're doing the book club with all kinds of different people. I got Taryn, and I got Prez, and I got Tom Palmer, and I got Taylor, and it's very, very fun. Uh, so next month, look for The Wheel of Time on a table top rpg streaming here at dm philly we're gonna have an awesome crew people the show will end but i'm not ready to leave so uh we gotta just keep playing that's going to be fun uh i just did my first podcast about the book of boba fett with the oh. one and only mike bloom uh, i'm gonna be covering that for the I next like couple of months week to week <laughs> uh good <laughs> stuff gotta love boba fett um another fun podcast from mike and i at the end of the month that will be very very D, D related that you will hear us talking about here uh but 
that's my podcast over there, Post Show Recaps. It's very fun. It's a very good time. Everybody should go over there and hang out, sign up for their Patreon. In January, it will be happening. Uh, the Philly Patreon is going live. We are going to activate my Patreon. We're going to turn on Camp Rich, the Discord. We're going to start bringing in all you guys from, like, out here on the internet. Uh, I am going to be putting out, like, D&D content every month. I will have it all ready to go as of January 1st. I got 10 days, uh... Yeah, come scope it out. I'll let you know when it's ready. It's going to be very fun. But we're basically going to be playing a bunch of indie role-playing games in our Discord server together. Uh, I'm going to be doing little, like, tutorial lessons of, like, how to play all these weird games that I'm, like, obsessed with and have been digging into in the side. And we're going to talk about stuff. Uh, you, if you want to, like, talk to me specifically and, like, bend my ear for a couple hours to ask me questions, that'll probably be a good place to do that. Uh, some of the usual suspects from around here, they're going to be conspiring with me to bring like their own magic to that space and i am very very excited about that so that's like my big exciting news at the end of the year uh yep that's it that's they always say you can't choose your family but with the philly fam you can't you sure as hell can sure can Uh, i choose choose you simpsons anyone no (laughs) No. Yes. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We do. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Bye. bye. Good night, everyone. Have a great bye. Christmas. Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye.